necessary. So we're so we're live now. So so people can hear us dissing our hats and shit. Yeah. And our homeboy, tell him his name. Shout out my boy Nick, aka White Artierier on Instagram. And the the hat goat. You already take this. The Yo. goat. The goat of fit. And he hats. asks, does Adam want a hat? And I said, no. He can't. He can't put it on with a toupee. Y'all, I don't have a toupee. Although that would be amazing <laughs> if I did. I. The, you can't cover up the bossly hair. I used to wear a hat. I used to wear hair uh, hats. You used to wear dad hats all the time. I like dad hats. They and that's what I told better. him. I told him to make you a dad hat. Are those adjustable or those are fitted? Adjustable. Yeah. These are fitted. How is it adjustable? Bro, Where? it was snapbacks and tattoos like <laughs> the last time I looked. That it was like 2009. I know, but it feels like <laughs> yesterday. Last time I looked. Bro, you can't fucking, you, you're telling me that there's no for snapbacks anymore? I got to always be fitted? It's fucking dead, I got, oh. I got a couple, though, but I don't bring them out, though. No. Really? I don't bring them out. Keep That's them cap. Check. That's cap. See, look. Wait, wait. Where's you're Trevor? waiting for him to come back? See, look, he be cheating. He be throwing in snappy. Well, Trevor's wearing a snap right now, too. Can Man, somebody it, grab me my sunglasses? If it's a custom, I'll wear the snap. Okay, all right. It can't be like a regular. You can't go to Lids and buy the random Michelin S snapback. Like, it's, really? It's, I'm not it's, buying anything at Lids. Everything in there seems gay to me when I go in you there. You can't get these in Lids. That's a fact. So... You guys at a certain point in your life just realized that you just wanted. I've to been doing this. Don't play me. House phone's been doing. The it, but more I took it complicated over. the hat gets, the better. Is he the made it a hot line. I made it a hot song. Oh. Right. And you're fake gang man. You're, you're just acting neighborhood over here. What we you all mean? Know. What? Huh? I mean, you got. Are you? You think you get a pass now? What do you mean? Because your hat has all this other weird shit on it. You're allowed to wear that I was, hat. I was thinking that. I was like, if I'm in traffic and a nigga see me, you've been wearing NY hats for a long time, though. I just, I be in New York and I be in like, LA. You want to look like Memphis Bleak or something? Nah, I just always like Yank. I always been like anti whatever everybody else is wearing. So since I'm from LA, should everybody was wearing LA hats. There. They should be on the white table. God damn it. I'll wear LA. Oh, wait, maybe they're in my car. I wear no, LA mind. too, but I just rather throw, throw on something different. LA everything. For yeah, me. you're a Mr. Neutral guy. I'm not neutral. This is my hood hat too. It is? Yeah. Your hood uh, hat is a black LA hat with pink? No. No, the, just, the, just the logo. Just LA? LA. So your hood is His Los hood Angeles. Is <laughs> no, the earth is my turf. How about that? Oh, I like that. Yeah. That's hard. Oh, the earth is my turf. Wait, speaking of turfs. Surf and turf. Great. You Order it all the time. You said they made up a new, wow. a new joke for him. Wow. Oh. What's well, the joke? Well, according to Phil, we're running Facebook ads, uh -huh. uh, promoting No Jumper, trying to get more followers, subscribers, whatever. I don't know what the fuck it is. Apparently, somebody keeps going in the comments and saying Adam 22 out here thinking he's thinking he's tough with his Walmart crip buddy <laughs> <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a Walmart crip yeah, I'm like, why? or is it me or is it house phone I don't know if Phil is just telling yeah, us that about one <laughs> comment and just acting like it's a theme that people are running with, but he's mentioned it like three or four times. So to me, it seems like a thing that you are a Walmart crypto. I haven't so. been to Walmart in years. Yeah. No, that's not true. I'd be more of a target. We nigga. went to Walmart together, didn't we? What? Yeah, with Blueface. Yeah. Why? And we were throwing away one turkeys of, and shit. One of the only times we ever left the house together. Yeah, because you don't want to go nowhere. This being the house. And the one time that you were going to go out, you got COVID. Yeah, and then Mr. You, vaccinated, and you got Mr. heart disease. Vaccinated. <laughs> I get COVID, and he has a heart attack within the same week. Nope. That I decided that I wanted to actually start going out I and know. socializing. Hey, I'm I'm, I'm Mr. Healthy now. I yeah. took it as a message from God. I'm Mr. Healthy now. I yeah, maybe go maybe it was meant for you to not go out. Maybe like one of your ops was going to slap you up or something. That ain't gonna happen. You got, the, you got the Walmart crib with you, man. I know you. You see may me. be the Walmart crib. Yeah, maybe I'm the Walmart. Crib. Oh, you definitely are a Walmart crib. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know if the Crips would really want you to be the Cougar Burger Crib. The Cougar. Wow. On CBC Cougar, on Cougar Crib. That's real. Oh, he he has no idea about the Cougar Burger joke. What's oh, that, that was on my show. That right? was on your show. Yeah, Cougar Burger. It's it, like house phones turf. Yo, this, we gotta move this shit. <laughs> that shit fell like nine times already. That's real. Oh my god! <laughs> I was See, like, I told you you like the soundboard. I OD'd on that motherfucking Wednesday though. That's what I heard. Well, I mean, <laughs> how bad do you think that it was? Bow, I think bow, I did bow, like. Bow, 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 <laughs> no, that's the worst bow, one. Bow. One, no. one of the best, so much longer than it needs to be. <laughs> one of the best comments was, "It's already three minutes in, and AD pushed the shit nine times." <laughs> <laughs> oh fucking god! I, I think I need to tone it down like thirty percent. Mm, that's yeah, realistic. I mean, I always knew it was going to be a process of you sort of like learning what what the limits of the soundboard were. Yeah. But for in order for you to really realize your destiny as a selector, 
this is what you need to master. But I was real good, and Yuri made it like real easy to keep pressing the shit. You better Pause. start DJing now because you're yeah. gonna want to be able to DJ once you're a real true unk, and people don't want to hear you rap anymore. Mm. Then you're gonna have I to could be like E40. Well, I mean, E40 is kind of a unicorn. Yeah, Snoop, too short. But all these motherfuckers DJ shit. That's a nah. The DJ. You never thing, seen a too short DJ. It's set. about versatility. There's a lot of like, I, I bet E40 fucking DJ clubs and shit. No, like, he with, does the, not. Instead of performing, just because it's an additional bag, could you go yeah. lend yourself to that? You don't want to be like performing every fucking. But night, Wiz be know? doing that too. DJ Daddy Cat and the Paris Hilton be doing that shit That's too. Hard. Cam Girl. Oh, yeah. Cam Girl too. But Cam Girl don't rap. Dude. Polly she, D. She did. Paul E.D. for sure. Cam Girl formerly rapped. She used You're to. Lying. Oh, you never seen it? you never That's seen it? No. Yet. I think she deleted it. I think she personally deleted it off. She's off. probably furious that we're even talking about it right now. No, what I was her rap name? Cam Girl. I want to call her like Cameron Girl. <laughs> Why? <laughs> what? It just sounds like a better rap name to me. Cameron Girl? Like Camera Girl. I wrote a fire song for her and it never came out. You don't remember the lyrics? What about Candy I do. Girl? I do. Say the movie. lyrics. Candy girl, <laughs> you are my world. How did you ruin that song? <laughs> yeah, Candy <man>. girl, <laughs> you are my world. <laughs> Who am I, the chocolate rain guy now? You, just, you, sound, rain. you sound like Abraham Lincoln when you sing. Candy girl, Candy four girl. scores, I bet you four have... scores of years ago. <laughs> what the fuck? Four <laughs> scores. You are, I bet you're so new to know, Jeremy, you don't even know that I interviewed the motherfucking Candy Rain dude. Or the, what? Uh, the, the chocolate rain I didn't dude. even know chocolate you did that. Rain. You don't know. I've been here since almost day one, and Nigga, I don't know. You've that. been here since preschool. <laughs> <laughs> I was in middle school. Yeah, uh, basically, yeah. But I mean, yeah, I interviewed that motherfucker. The when? chocolate rain nigga. What uh, year? What is he doing now? Is he still two years ago? What chocolate rain? Maybe twenty nineteen. No era no jumper. Why did you find the chocolate rain dude in twenty nineteen and interview? I want to fight him in, in a boxing match. He's tiny. So yeah. You don't want to. <laughs> why would you want to fight him of all people? Yeah, he's like fuck? minuscule. I'm just mad today. He smoked I'm weed with us. Today. He smoked weed with us for his first time. Wow. You would outside be the last. The you would be the last person I would smoke. Wait, he didn't smoke even on camera. He smoked outside. Chocolate rain. I think he had never smoked weed before, and then all of a you sudden, you would not want to be the first. You would not be the first person I would smoke weed with if I'd never smoked before. Oh, no. Why? I'm a he would just trip yeah, me. Yeah, look, 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 right there. The fact that Josh had this queued up from 2019, he said he must have paid for promo. He goes chocolate <laughs> weed. <laughs> he said it all crazy. I know this shit went viral, Yo, bro. That's like that's like Urkel. Up. You know, Urkel got weed. He do. Yeah. What's it called? I don't know, but he got it's Urkel on the pack though. Can you turn that off? Like obviously we're smoking not that Urkel anymore. pack. Um, I, I uh, the one of the biggest honors I ever had in my life was vegan. Tried to do a half cab down 20 stairs. Who's vegan? El Toro. And Who's vegan? That's how green died. you are. Be vegan is I'm like, green for not knowing vegan. Is the BMX That's told the bro. me? How the fuck I know him? I Have mean, I ever met him? Yeah, he. Oh, I don't know. Man, I actually. just expect you to be at least familiar with some BMX pros. Um, just Phil. That's like one of his best friends, not though. Phil. <laughs> Phil don't count. That's like one of his best. That just says a lot because he's. AD's only this office era, no jumper, and Vegan yeah. is barely ever here. Vegan's never here, really. Never, yeah, really. So but that's crazy. He was he was always at the store and downtown, especially. That's that, that was how my nigga been gay. <laughs> Vegan. Oh, my <come> bad. <laughs> at Brandon Vegan. Yeah, shout out Brandon Vegan, but he basically knocked himself unconscious trying to jump down 20 flights of stairs. That sounds like something that would knock you on down. <laughs> and I filmed it. And then, uh, wait, why am I talking about this? I don't know. You start bringing up his El Toro shit. I don't know. Oh, I was thinking that maybe we should make an NFT of it. Bro, I'm you so fake on this NFT yeah, shit, right, bro. Right. What? You said he it was, was the shit. stupidest shit yeah. invention ever, and now you bought a fucking bear, and you just think that you're Mr. <laughs> NFT. What bear I'm, did I'm you calling buy? you out. I was given a bear. Is that your icon? I spent $160,000 on, on the bear. On a punk. What's a what? punk? I feel like maybe I shouldn't even explain it because it's going to be kind of hard. Like, I feel like I need like a full day with you in but order to what? explain NFTs No, I'm you. actually very smart. <laughs> and two, you were so against it. What made you switch? Like, who told you, Adam, this is a, a great investment that I, you will spend $160,000 on a punk, whatever the fuck a punk is? I think that I realized that the technology itself 
even though it might not be used right now to a fully optimized state. I don't think that it's obvious to people why they want to own an NFT right now, but okay. I think that the, te the technology itself is what I'm actually a big believer in and I think it has a big future ahead of it and I think that yes maybe a lot Sounds of the, like I think maybe a lot of the things that it's being used for right now even the avatar stuff which is yeah. basically the crypto punks are like the definition of that it may not be the most useful or the most ingenious use of the NFT technology but the fact is is that it's the most important NFT series okay that exists right now so I have a lot of belief that it's gonna but in you, the long run you have a hundred and sixty thousand dollars worth of belief that you bought one when you hated it that, so bad what made you like switch that's ago. what we want to know this is like two weeks ago you were talking about how you hated it i just started to believe i listened to this podcast about who's it paying, who's who's paying who's because i seen his most. tweet There's no was like, nft board it's not like a company <laughs> called nft <laughs> and i called him out because i seen they're not doing brand Twitter. deals i said what the fuck you mean you was hating on nft so bad this is a little fishy but i realized i was wrong I don't know. I've never heard. You I think you ever got like some that. insider Jeffrey Epstein shit going on, and somebody mm. told you. For the record, he was a pedophile. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I don't appreciate that. I don't appreciate. I didn't mean it in that way. I meant like some secret yeah. shit. That's why I didn't come last week because y'all pissed me off calling me EDP with that jersey. <laughs> that <laughs> I was, was like, funny. "Fuck these niggas, bro." They they morphed you into EDP oh, with the jersey on, bro. That shit was God. hilarious. I was right. sick. Uh, I was if anybody at, wants to do some NFT business, feel free to reach out. We out here, we making moves, but. Do you remember the first week in Nigga fuck tokens. That's what NFT stands for. Bro, <laughs> nigga fuck tokens. The first week NFTs were available, that's an awful lot of cough syrup. He was early. NFT pint. And Lena, someone sent her. She doesn't even know who. Someone sent her the NFT pint. Mm. What? It showed up in her fucking account because she posted a, a image of the crypto punk where you could see her her uh, her address or whatever so that people could send her shit. Mm -hmm. She got some random ass fucking drawing that some kid made in an NFT form and then she also got the Desto Dub pint for some reason. So when they send it, is it, she owns it now? She owns the NFT. And she can like resell the NFT? Yes. So she has the only digital pint in the world. No, there's many. He made, thought, he, it's like a part of a series. Think of it like oh, trading cards. Okay, but I thought oh, it was, I thought it was okay, only okay, one. Okay. I thought it was only one digital plan. So they're digital trading cards, basically. I'm actually just gonna spill the beans about yeah. something that I'm working on because it's like the way the NFTs work. NFT store. I'm not worried necessarily about someone like stealing this idea. But what mm. we basically want to start doing is we want to start <laughs> minting NFTs for each no jumper interview, where it's like an illustration of the artist or the per of the guest in a certain specific form. We mint a couple of NFTs for each interview. Those go onto the marketplace, and then all of a sudden, there's a di the, there's only a limited number of them. So it's, it's almost like it's a trading card type thing where there's a certain status attached to you owning the NFT. So are there gonna be any NFT illustrations of me and household? That's a fact. Perhaps. Especially you in your old interview where you had an afro, if I remember correctly. <laughs> you did. Hey, and so your hats weren't decorated like they are today. The hats is fire, bro. And you had a I don't think, white I don't think Altair. Come you on, had bro. Uh, long shorts on, if I remember correctly. Long I wear short shorts now. Shorts. <laughs> he is a short, <laughs> short guy. You had long shorts on back then? I didn't have a long yeah, short. Right. It was a little, like it was a little on the longer. I look like, <laughs> you look like Slay. Were they like, were they past your knees? I didn't have like, I didn't have like thigh and knee tattoos then. Now I got to show them off. Oh, you got to show them off. Sometimes I have uh, dudes come on the podcast these days and bro, they still would be coming in with them long shorts, like to the ankle. I oh, feel that's like, terrible. I feel like Murray had ankle shorts on. He could rock ankle shorts. When wow. you're a little bigger, they don't really like make the bottom like for you like that. That's a fact. But you're really saying something about yourself as a person if you pull up to the function with some long ass jean shorts. Like with some but if you're huge, like with some jabos on. If you're super fat, I agree. That's different. Yeah, because if you're a skinny ass dude and you pull up with crazy long jean shorts, <laughs> you're gonna look like a total tweaker. No, you look because like a when you're when you're bigger, you got to put the pants on, and your legs might be a little skinnier, so mm. you will have mm. them parachutes. You know what I'm saying when you sit down and shit. So you don't feel paranoid about the fact that you got fucking pretzel stick legs and the the like you just got these skinny little legs and like who got skinny little legs you now i do i got a little nice little legs oh i thought you knew they're, they're pretzel huh? sticks pretzel stick legs. <laughs> that's what i call it you know 
<laughs> Are you saying that because of the color of Is your it, skin? Because it's Adam? brown and do I have salt on my skin or something? I mean, perhaps. I mean, you have, you have cysts and lesions all over you. <laughs> Where is the cysts and lesions? <laughs> you making it seem like my nigga's getting eaten alive or something. Yeah, yeah. he's covered in bugs as we speak. He's mad that I'm winning the weight loss challenge and everybody keep calling him fat. I'm that. getting frustrated, bro. I've been going hard and the weight is not falling 33 off, really. for me. And 30, I've been 30, 30, 33? Yep. Wow. i just been wearing smaller shirts. I can tell. <laughs> That's it. Congrats. I just got a smaller <laughs> shirt. I, I feel it, Tum Tum. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Is it loud enough? No. But, but like you said, it's cheat code, though, because a nigga don't drink no more or drink Red Bulls. I so, want, like, the sugar intake is just gone. You better, you better but, keep that away but, from him. But above all else, I'm about to Fuck relapse. You, I don't want no ravioli, nigga. I'm about to relapse. Fuck you, I don't want no ravioli, nigga. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, you can say the N word with the, with the take you, with the deck now. I don't want no ravioli, nigga. Oh, nah. We got to keep this away from that him. That one was mine, though. So, I shouldn't press a button that says N words? I guess that was a good point. It, Especially if you got the ER in it, don't press it at him. It's not. It's it's a no. little black kid it, talking about ravioli. No, he's a white kid that's saying that shit. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. I don't know if I ever really watched the original. <laughs> Fuck you. I don't want no ravioli, nigga. I don't want it. Uh. If that NFT hits the market, you'll be the first one in line. Uh, Transfer money into Ethereum right now. Yeah. <sighs> Here you go. Are you about to be the next rapper that's doing a, 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 a dump, dumping? Pump and dump. Pump and dump. A Ponzi scheme? I'm not doing. I've turned down many of the weird <laughs> crypto coin promotions. What's up with that? Why is that? Why is this like? Because you can make so much money doing it. But by by like the by the scamming crypto. other people. Yeah, basically you you promote this coin. A bunch of people buy it because they are seeing you promote it, and they're fucking stupid, and they believe for a moment that this might have some long term value. Like you win, and then tease. all the people who originate it. No, not like me in the crypto punk. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> one day, if the crypto punk is worthless, then this will serve as a historical document. But if that. it isn't, this is like Bitcoin, and we did not jump on the train. Exactly, and exactly. then I would be like, yes, yes, yes. But one make, one of them makes me so mad. And for the record, I only own half of the NFT. So I have owned. So 160 got you half? I spent 80K. You she spent 80K. You transferred $80,000 of your own money from your bank account into this and paid for this. This nigga tweaking. You are fucking a psychopath because you be talking shit. Oh my I'll God. put it like this. This is crazy. You could have bought a new no jumper office. It took us a little <laughs> we bit. Could've of got, we could have <laughs> got new new decorations around here. We literally could have bought a whole new office. The we could have got new cameras. We could have upgraded this motherfucker. The, the good news Which we want to buy something that's digital. <laughs> the, all right, guys, guys, guys. The good news is that the way that the no jumper bank account is set up. Ah! <laughs> you can spend eighty k on an NFT and still get a new office, so we're still getting a new office. Don't worry. He put but, all he put all our paychecks on, on the line. You will actually be paid strictly in NFTs now. <laughs> Shit, what well, if it's send worth me, something? Send let's me go. a punk then. <laughs> <laughs> send me a hundred sixty thousand dollar punk. I, I actually heard a lot of people saying that you are a punk. No, you never heard. You, that was a good one, but that was, that was a, good a good one. one. That was a good one, but you never. That, no, you, yeah. ain't never, you ain't never heard nobody yeah. say that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 that nigga said, well, the way the bank account is Bro, set up. Bro, the soundboard is amazing when you do it right. Yeah, the question is, is are you doing it right? I do it right. See, I can't hear because we got headphones on, so it's like, it's, it's hell yeah, of a Yeah, I can only, I can hear it from the TV, but not that great. When you watch really, it over, you can hear it good. I don't know mm. what it sounds like on the recording. It sound, I, no, it sounds good as Give well. me a moment for self-promotion. I was going to say, can I do a personalized? Oh, uh. <laughs> Okay. Probably we could probably program different layouts, right? Okay, yeah, so we could switch between them. Nigga, go ahead, self promo. No, I just want to promote and say that we just put out an episode on the Patreon with the Kendama girls. Yes, sir. Mm. Hit, a, hit a trick for us. They're doing crazy <laughs> shit on Kendamas with their tits out, and they're Asian. And they're attractive. Are they involving the kendamas in any type of sexual? That's what way? I wanted to know. I asked them if they had ever had sex with a kendama, and they said they probably would get splinters. Available now on <laughs> patreon.com slash no jumper. Find out. Find if out if they've ever had a kendama in the vag. Or a butthole. Or butthole. Or, I, I asked that too, I think. If I wouldn't remember that correctly. hurt though, like the splinters, like the wood? Well, I think it's smooth. It's smoothed it, out enough. This wood has Let been see. sanded down. Nobody's getting a splinter. I've, I've dealt with these things more than anybody. Well, or, I mean, or like, what if they use it as like a. Right here, and I've never got a splinter. What if they use it as like a double double edged dildo? What, with this side? Bro. Both sides. Can I. <laughs> Go ahead. I got I to tell you about something that was discussed on the Patreon the other day. And this episode might not come out for a few weeks, but. We had a girl in here, and we were talking to her about, like, we, we said, what's your craziest sexual fantasy or, or craziest sexual thing that you've, you've done? 
she told us a little bit about having some threesomes and shit like that. Then she said that one time she's hooking up with this guy. He's got her legs up. He's eating her pussy, right? He takes her leg. He brings her leg down. And he takes her foot. And he starts fucking the shit out of his own asshole with her big toe. That's not where I was expecting <laughs> that to go. What a fucking creep. Where is it? Let me see. Where's the crickets at? Wait, wait. <laughs> no, this this is what it really gets. Hold on. That's what the fuck it gets. Journey into wait. the center of the male I asshole. Thought, I thought the worst was when when she said her uh, Kazumi said her friend went to MacArthur Park. Yeah, oh, that was yeah, man. yeah, that was the crazy. And got one. fucked by like twenty hobos with no rubber. Homeless with no rubber. With no rubber. Nope. Can we say hobo? There's not a lot of outrage about hobo. I don't think people really care about the hobos. I heard about you're a homosexual. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, we should have made that joke with Kazumi. I, I should have said she sounds like a hobosexual. <laughs> Yo. Okay, you guys have told this story, Woo! but y'all left out the part where she didn't have a condom. No, he she, the, or, the, the nigga took her. It wasn't her, Kazumi. It was her friend. It was her friend. I'm just saying, reg- she whoever said it was. Her, they call them daddies, I assume. Yeah. Her daddy took her to a porter potty in MacArthur Park and then just let all the hobos just run wild on her. That's crazy. They must not have seen the shit that I've seen you have in my to see life. The Patreon, I've bro. seen the way that homeless people live from all those years out riding BMX in the field. Yeah. These motherfuckers, their hygiene is deplorable. The fact that she let them all put their, their wieners in her. I mean, <laughs> probably half of them had a real serious STD. I'm going to be real with you. Like, like a real deal, no cap STD. Is I mean, but if a, you think about it. Are they even having that much sex? But you, they so free, they made. Yeah. And that's why they end up homeless. Because they're having too much sex? All of a sudden, the herpes is taking up all their money. They can't afford their rent. Jesus. All of a sudden, they're living in the park. <laughs> I don't know, man. I, is oh it? Am I the God only one God. who like afraid to fight homeless people? Yeah. Oh hey, I don't want to okay. touch them. Okay. Yeah. I mean the real filthy, deranged looking motherfuckers with sores. On yeah, the ones like, nick, nick, nick. like I don't want your pus on me. They don't Hell. have pus. What are you talking about? You never seen a homeless guy who had like yeah, open like sores with pus. Well, that nigga need to go to the hospital downtown. Yeah. You oh yeah, Skid Row. Bro, yeah, 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 yeah. The yeah, yeah, shit yeah. I've seen down there. Yeah, Skid Row is like. Yeah. Nah, I mean, yeah. Sometimes, sometimes you have dudes in Skid Row and shit who are like it's not two even... steps removed from being like a dude, yeah. a normal dude in the neighborhood, and they just started smoking, and now they're down here trying to be a tough guy, trying to dominate, be an alpha and shit. But you're, <laughs> the reality is, is that like you got a couple of years of like. Shrink Shrinking away and turning into like a but pure if you're like, junkie. If you're like a dope hobo, you can get on soft by underbelly. So you know, there's there's hope. Now if there's cloud dope, available. There's cloud available. But you got to be. If a you're a dope ass hobo, bro. But like, how does he scout them? Does he just go down and then just like find the most random looking homeless person? Bro, he he just hits the pookie and then he just runs wild. That, <laughs> I don't think the guy that's running soft like <laughs> you interviewed him, didn't I you? Interviewed him, yeah. <laughs> that's nah, like one of the most interesting like he don't YouTube accounts. You watch my interview. No, no, I watched all bitch. my life. They had you on Soft White Underbelly? No, I fucking interviewed Mark. <laughs> I thought he was sitting there in the black and white. The, the <laughs> interviews that I want to fucking listen to are the ones that I sit in for. Yeah, true. Get so the in? only ones you want to watch, listen to, are the ones that you are there for? Yeah. I mean, like, the ones I say, oh, I want to sit down and, like, I'm interested. Because there's so much content. Yeah. It's so much content on No Jumper, bro, that it's, like, yeah. it's too much time in a day to watch two, the three only, hours of shit. The only, the only one that I've watched recently... That I wasn't a part of or like wasn't around for was I watched the Alley one. That one was really good. Who? Alley. Lot, oh, Lottie, 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 Lottie Biscotti. Alley. Okay. Alley. Okay. I watched that one Lottie because I had, I had to see why we were uh, two hours late that day. Yeah. And then um, who else you drive? Oh, you did. I watched Little Mouse. That was actually pretty good. You I like want to see that one. I don't that really want to talk about that. <laughs> you said that about everything. Oh, I thought you meant you didn't want to talk about it right no, now. No, you just like kept saying, like, I don't want to talk about that, about everything. Like, what's what's going on with the Dirk thing? Uh, I don't really want to talk about that. It was, it was got, cool. They got beef? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dirk used to fuck with them tough. Now, but but one thing I do, my barber, he watches all the No Jumper interviews. Oh, and man. when I get my hair cut, I usually watch, like, it's one of the dope-ass interviews you do and shit. I do do dope-ass interviews, yeah, yeah. don't I? Yeah, yeah, bro. You actually, like, on, yeah. some, on like, no bullshit. On interviewing and shit like that, you you would go want to come down to an interview and shit. Yeah. Got to get the homie and shit. K yeah, Camp, now yeah. that's my guy. I gotta watch that shit. K Camp musically is so oh, he's incredible. good, incredible. He's always he always got a hit every every two years, every year. Stupid, Even he's so talented. Probably bro. every year, yeah. We got a couple records together. For real, mm. uh-huh. you extorted them. 
Well, I, don't, I don't start nobody, bro. I'm a nice guy. <laughs> I, I got pretzel legs, man. How can I do this? <laughs> pretzel legs. <laughs> yeah. Ran down on KKM in the stew. Hey, man. You see my legs? <laughs> Do a song with me. <laughs> I ran ran down with my pretzel legs. <laughs> oh my God. I, see, <laughs> I, I seen you on FaceTime with Wiz putting my boy on and makes the hats. Yeah, bro. That was, he, he that made, was tight of you. He made him a crazy one. Bro. I know, I seen him. Bro, I like helping people, bro. Now that's with hard. Hats bro. mostly? Because <laughs> let me, let me, let me, yeah, with hats. No, because Wiz put me on Lord Fubu. Because mm. I was like, hey, bro, who made them dope ass hats you Matt got? Damon. Matt Damon too. Okay. Wait, <laughs> what, what happened about? to Matt Damon? The song? Oh, it's gone. Yeah, the song. You got a song called Matt Damon? Bro, it's, it's a Friday thing, bro. It's you wouldn't whole, get it. There's, mm-hmm. there's a lot of lore. You wouldn't get it. Anyway, all right, Lord Fubu. Yeah, so he put me on Lord Fubu, mm-hmm. and I'm like, damn. So like when, when I see dope ass hats, you gotta, I was like, I was like, hey, it. bro, my homie White Arts right here, he got some dope ass hats, and he was like, man, I need like two of them. And that nigga made him a crazy one. I know, he made him some bangers, honestly. Who made you this uh this nice Pokemon trainer jacket. At trainer gear on Some Instagram. hobo. Yeah. They're, <laughs> Some hobo. They are homosexual. <laughs> they're, they're, they're very, very much down with the homeless people. No. At trainer gear. But then what's crazy is I got this jacket in the mail, right? And then I hit level 50 in Pokemon Go right after I got this jacket. And when you hit level 50, your in-game rewards, you get this exact jacket. Really? When you hit level 50. But, but you get the jacket in real life or in the game? No, you get it in the game, but then your, your, oh. avatar, your avatar can wear it in the game. That's hard. And I'm like, holy shit, I'm going to wear this every day. As yeah. you've noticed, I've been wearing it every day. And luckily, I have two. I have a green one as well, which you also get in the game. And that's I can just hard. switch it out. So while one is in the laundry, I'm wearing the other one. Boom. I if never you, have to wear anything else. If you really hard. want to take it to the next level, you need to get the Ash Ketchum hat and wear that shit here. Yeah. High key down. Somebody make... Whoa. Somebody make you a Boston... What did you just say it was called? Bro, you didn't no, no. What did you just say it was called, though? What was the name I of the thing? Ash Ketchum hat. You need, the, you need a Boston Ash Ketchum <laughs> fitted. Most fake-ass Pokemon trainer yeah, ever. I don't How know is he the about. most fakest? He's the one that cracked it off. No, but talk, Bro, you better respect your ancestors. Him? No. no, no Ash Ketchum. Oh, Ash Ketchum. Nigga, I'm not a trainer. Ash. <laughs> Ash hard. Ash, Ash finally won after 20 years. I Spoiler. might not have found out about the Pokemon franchise until I was 32, <laughs> but I still feel like I'm a very diehard trainer, a big part of the franchise. Bro. You haven't seen any of the shows, huh? Who the fuck about that crap? My nigga, I remember going to see the Pokemon movie, bro. And That's it was like the packed. whole lore of it. And thing. you got. I saw Detective Pikachu. That was great, though. But, that like, the Pokemon really movie came out when Mewtwo first popped out, and they gave you, like, the fucking holographic muse, like you had to go to the movies to try to get that and see it multiple times. And shit, it was dope. But it sounds like something you would probably mostly do as a child and not as an adult. <laughs> a nigga who play, you play Pokemon? Yeah, I was bro. gonna say you just started playing. No, but I'm saying like my appreciation for it right now. But really, all of my Pokemon playing now is an investment in impressing Parker one day with all my six shinies. Yeah, so you are gonna have all the NFTs in, in Pokemon <laughs> form. Hey, Parker and and Tony the cat. I want to send a big shout out to y'all because they're both under the weather. Oh, Tony, like Tony the cat had some hey, fuck yeah. off. <laughs> He's sick. Wait, what? <laughs> he had blood in his shit, dude. Why you hate He lost Tony? five pounds. Good. Oh, he was he was getting kind of chunky. <laughs> well, I mean, that is real. But he's Can not, I get a hey Tony? He's not doing great. Oh, hey Tony. What's going on with him? Yeah, I don't know. He's sick or something. But we, like, we had him at the vet. I mean, he's a fucking 18 now. AD yeah, is very insensitive. He's old. Wait, how poor, long do cats live? Cat, I mean, probably around 18. Oh shit. He's shit. already kind of old. He probably got a couple years in him if we if we treat him right. But I'm glad we got in front of this because he's bro, he's been taking fucking crazy diarrheas all over the fucking the litter box on the like splattering out the side of it, and then he's tracking it all through the house and shit. We got the fucking baby, who knows? I think it's time to take the blammy and go Yo, the old yellow route. Come on, no. bro. <laughs> <laughs> G- give me a bagel no. <laughs> bagel, no! <laughs> fucking animal hey, no, no. animal serial no, killer. No, not to be insensitive though, but I you know, I'm a I'm a dog nigga. You know what I'm saying? Roof. Ain't nothing but the dog <laughs> in me. I thought Adam was going to repeat that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hey, a dog, nigga. No, but like the way people feel about their dogs, that's how people feel about their cats. Duh. Oh, it's yeah. an animal. Damn. I've been with this fucking cat for 15 years. Damn, for reals? From Brooklyn, yeah. from Queens. I thought he was here. 18 in cat years. I didn't know the nigga was here 15 yeah. years. No, he's a fucking... Fu- Bro, Do I even have that shit? You yeah. can, he's 18. If he was a human, Fuck. you could fuck him. 
But being that he's not, you cannot fuck him because he's a cat. And you can't fuck a cat no matter how old they are. In, in, in maybe in Massachusetts you can. No, in Massachusetts. Well, what's age, age, age limitations? <laughs> uh, on cats? So cats go real years. What's the age of consent in Massachusetts? I think it's 18 maybe, but either way. I, I so we have dog years. I we don't have cat years. I'm pretty sure Massachusetts is consistent on there being no age in which you can legally fuck a cat. <laughs> Wait, so there, there's dog years, but there's not cat years? I don't fuck with cat years if there are cat years, so I don't know. I'm telling you his 18-ish so I, years. Mm. I'm thinking a nigga only been here like three, four years. Are you, you tell serious? me Hell nah. no, he looks old as fuck. No, because you know dog years is what, seven years? I'm offended by how little you know about my cat. I mean, I'm bro, this is how green he is. You're still, bro, we should have been Who hazing you. Who taught you green? Yeah, we should have been yeah, hazing yeah, you. You've been saying green a lot. You needed to do your no jumper you history. No right. jumper you history. probably don't even know who Robesman is. Who the fuck is Robesman? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Hakeem, Hakeem ran up on him outside the club. He's like, who are you? Who the fuck are you? <laughs> He's like, who the fuck is <laughs> That was the best. I, I had to explain so much. <laughs> bro, he literally has, bro, no, no jumper knowledge at all. It's kind of tight, though. It's like a fresh start. I know, I He's know. He's got the memory of a fucking goldfish. He forgets everything that happened last week. <laughs> bro, no, that's, that's me. Truth, though. That is you. Bro, that's that's me. the ketamine. I forgot my birth. My birthday was on Friday. Bro, that's what somebody. That's what somebody didn't t- none of y'all told me happy birthday. Nigga, I, didn't I didn't know. I didn't know. Maybe if you would have came last I, week, I was we would have stream known. all day, and I feel like the chat would have told me if fucking it was a birthday, but well, I didn't even see them telling me. I was like COVID phone, so I didn't even like post or nothing anyway. Yeah, so. they, they, but they told you didn't me. really have it. You were just sick. I thought. I, well, remember, well, remember I was tinted that picture of me in the hospital. Did like, you get a couple tested? Days. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. I got I got tested when I was at the hospital th- last week, but I didn't. Mm. Uh, I didn't go again after that, but I low key thought I had it. I was feeling crazy. Dude, I got tested for swag and it came back positive. I'm about to say, God damn. I was about to feel bad for you. Hey, no, but this nigga, <laughs> yeah, 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 hit him with the crickets, cat. <laughs> Cricket, kid. Somebody said, I don't know why people send me shit about house phone, but somebody says. I puked in my mouth a little when I made that joke. Why yeah. And I think it was probably related. You okay. Hey, somebody, right. somebody sent me this shit and it says, how, who was little house phone on Urban Dictionary? And it was like a, a rapper from Torrance who's overdosed on ketamine. <laughs> but you're not from Torrance. First of all, I'm not from Torrance. I mean, Hawthorne. It said Hawthorne, yeah. <laughs> my bad. But Yo, it said. I'm dead. <laughs> A Hawthorne rapper who who's overdosed on ketamine or something like that. I said, what the fuck? Who wrote that it's pretty shit? Pretty plausible. That would be a set. <laughs> like, knock yeah. on wood. But if I die from ketamine, that would be such a not funny joke because y'all oh. push push this ketamine joke on me. You lived a lot of cat years. <laughs> <laughs> well, why were you years. in the hospital? The drugs were getting to you or what? No, no, no. I was I was just like, bro, it's honestly. Shitty. I felt like I was finna pass out when I was driving one day. Like I had, like I've had a lot of bad migraines like my whole life, even since I was a little kid. Like, mm. like I used to go get a lot of MRIs and CAT scans and shit. So like I'm kind of familiar with having a bad headache, but the way that this felt, it was crazy. Like I felt like I was literally, literally finna pass out. What kind of scan did you just? Oh, hey Tony. Uh, continue. A CAT scan. <laughs> so, oh, you know. I was like, what? <laughs> so yeah, it took I went, me a little while. I went to the hospital. I was there. Didn't have COVID. They said my head looked fine, like when they did the scan and all that shit. And right as I was about to leave, they're like, "Wait, hold on, your blood sugar level is way mm. too high." They tell me it was three eighty. It's supposed to be like between eighty and one twenty, so it's like three times higher than it's supposed to be. That's why I asked you, "Was you diabetic?" You didn't say nothing. My mom and my dad are both di- wow. both diabetic, though. Really? Speaking of my dad, bro, tell me why I haven't talked to my dad. Since I was like 21, 22. We got into a really like bad argument over the phone. I cussed him out, hung up on him, haven't talked to him since, right? Okay. I'm I'm chilling like last week. My mom texts me like, hey, your uncle in Jamaica saw saw he saw me on No Jumper, hit up my dad and was like, Is this your son? And then my dad got in contact with my mom and then called me. And your dad was like, yo. You I saw you on no jumper. He was. <laughs> you got some fire he was hats, like, my yo. Son. <laughs> he's like, yo. I saw you on no jumper, and I'm like, what? Like my 60 year old diabetic, and now has colon cancer. I wonder how cancer. they even knew. I, like they hadn't seen you since what age? I haven't seen him physically since like. Why is he? He's on the run. Why is he in Jamaica? No, he's not in Jamaica. That's oh. where he's from, <laughs> bro. That's what you Wait. assume. <laughs> where is he from? <laughs> I anytime, anytime I see him, like do an interview, he'll be like, "Oh, so you grew up with one parent, or like what?" And I'm just like, "Why? Like, 
No, I usually a- try to be like, you grow up with mom, your dad, or aunt, uncle. Shame on you. Fucking Adam, man. No, he's not on the run. He's just sick, and he's from, he's from Jamaica. Okay, where's he live? In Florida. I didn't know this. Oh. Are you going to link up? We, we talked on the phone for like two hours. How, how do you feel about him? Though? You give a fuck, or are you just kind of... I mean, like, so the reason why we got into it the last time is because, like, you know, he, he was around when I was, like, little until, like, elementary school. That's when him and my mom broke up. But, like, I'm going to just be completely honest here right now. He beat the shit out of my mom one time, and I saw it. I saw it with my own eyes, and he literally almost killed her. Uh-huh. And ever since then, I just didn't fuck with him. But I was a little kid, though, you know? You're a piece of shit. That was funny. I can't hold you. <laughs> what's, what's the joke even? The law and order. <laughs> right, right. So I, I just didn't. I just didn't fuck with bro. So like, you know, over the years, the only only communication I had with him was like him being on the phone, like trying to uh, like be a parent over the phone hmm. and be like, oh, you're doing bad, Demonte. Like with his Jamaican accent <laughs> oh, and shit. My God. What's up, man? Da, da, da. And I'm just like, <laughs> <laughs> you know? So like at, as, at a certain point, at a certain point, it's like, nigga, I'm wilding out. I'm like 21, 22. I'm off the Zans, just doing crazy mm-hmm. shit. Tearing up the pack son. You know? <laughs> and my, my, my mom, I guess. You don't even know about that. Pack he, son? He He's not about none of that. No, you you know what pack son is, but you know you don't know about how you don't know about me getting a cease and desist from them for using their logo and, and that's dope. That tra- mean, just, he used right to up. go in the Pacific somewhere and fucking trash the shit and throw everything Cause on I the used ground. Because I used to work there and I was like, that was like know. his gimmick as a rapper, like the way that you faked that video shoot getting shot up. <laughs> I didn't fake that. He 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 I went and he used to tear up the pack sun. Yeah, that was the thing. And I made a, I made a fuck pack sun shirt with their logo, and then they sent me a cease and desist the next day. That means like you was popping. Though, I they was going crazy. That. I you was going saying? crazy. That's yeah. cool just to know that there there were enough people working there that they had enough effort to care. They only got like three stores now. Well, you go. You're lucky. Because Jelly Roll put a Waffle House logo on the cover of his mixtape, and holy fuck, he got sued for so much fucking money. Really? Because it was called like trapping out the Waffle House or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, ASAP Rocky just did a collab with Vans and PacSun, and the, he was in the in like an in-store performance mosh pitting in the PacSun. Right. Weird though. Do right? you think that that to him feels like? His soul is just like rotting away. Like you think that he hates doing that, or you think he's kind of whatever? I don't know though, because because Virgil did that too. Like he uh, when he had this brand called Ben Trill, right. he brought it to the mall. So I'm like, I don't know. I know about Ben Trill. Maybe the maybe I the, doubt that the Compton Crib knows. I know about Ben Shapiro. Well, that is Jesus a completely different thing. <laughs> though that is the best idea I ever had. <laughs> A fucking the Ben Drill pump. Ben, ben Shapiro. Shapiro. That's kind of hard, actually. Okay, write hitting, that down, Josh. You're hitting on the tiny percentage of society that knows about Ben Trill and Ben Shapiro at the same time. Yeah, that's honestly a very niche community. Probably a lot of people who are really into Ben Trill are now like really into deep into like right wing conspiracy theories. So they're Maybe. like fucking with Ben Shapiro a little bit. Not that Ben Shapiro's a conspiracy theorist, but but yeah, for all those dudes, he's he's one of the ones who's like not that bad in my book. He's kind of an ass. You don't know who the fuck he is. What am I talking about? Where's right? my? Where's, Why do you even know who Ben Shapiro is? Where's Milo? I know him, nigga. You know him. I don't know him personally. You sold him drugs. <laughs> you see, Did you? You see? How do you know him? You met up with him in a dark alley. He always wants to put put this stuff on the black man. Hold us down. Did you attend temple with him? Temple. There's nothing for that. <laughs> there's, nothing, there's, there's no Jewish sound effect. <laughs> no. <laughs> this is the best one. <laughs> And then Ka-ka! the bell. No, Wait, what is that my one? My favorite one is like a caca. It's like a chicken sound. Caca. This one. Why are you asking questions? <laughs> and, and so that's OT. <laughs> yeah. but, I don't remember him saying that. Oh, yeah, I should have put the big league one on there. I'm it's sorry. There it is. Yeah. I'm in a oh. big league. <laughs> I'm really rich. <laughs> and then that one's too short. Look, we gotta look at AD. Not the mama. <laughs> what the fuck is Why that? Why do you have a real... Isn't it one real one of me saying that? One of me saying it and then the real uh, di- baby dinosaur? No, I think it's just you. Uh, I want to have... I would rather have the baby dinosaur. Is there one of you that. saying anything? Baby dinosaur is great. Me? Yeah. We should make an NFT of baby dinosaur. They I'll be in for that. They haven't put any effort into... And, and why are there pictures for everybody but then not for the C-Mac ones when he's like the best looking one? Hey, you know what you should have did? You should have made... You should have made... <laughs> Pause. You should have made Parker's first picture an NFT. I'm thinking about it. No, I'm saying like you should have, like before you revealed her face to the internet. I'm thinking about it. <laughs> thinking about putting together a little Parker collection. 
I already know what I'm going to do for our first birthday party. We're going to do a, a, a NFT birthday. Well, no, we're going <laughs> to. That's I'm going to do a collab, and I might just not even get permission to do it. That's an awful lot of Parker. You should might just like you, tell t- you Dub, told us like, this before on the show. Yo, yeah. sorry, but we're doing this. You don't got to come to the party or nothing. You don't got to be involved at all. Speaking of babies, Dusto Dub just had his baby. Oh yeah, congrats, Dusto. He Dub. did have her. Oh, yeah. I, I didn't realize he had her. Yeah, what? and he's been he's been posted, bro. Dusto Dub is a oh, fucking marketing man, genius. I talked to him yesterday. I didn't even say congratulations. Oh, you, you seen you seen the little skitty man, bro? Every every one of his skits on Instagram is so funny. Yeah, every time we got some big stuff coming with Dusto Dub. Hey Ooh. man, he's been fucking killing it, bro. Mm-hmm. I feel like it's it's like the way the universe works is like once you get yourself like aligned, just everything just like it's like dominoes. It just falls Pun in place. Says like, that. When the stars align, you can't you stop. I think about that all the time with his shit is like how many people I've seen that had brands that like popped off a little bit and then they just, you know, just died just out. fizzles out or they just Bro, fuck it up one way or another. He's been going up and up and up. You know, we got new crazy jewelry, he got a baby, he, two stores. He's killing it right now, man. You think we my, should do another store? I told you this, no. And jo- me idea. and Josh talked about something that happened last week was a perfect idea why we shouldn't get another store. I wonder what... Uh, you think that we shouldn't do another store just because one employee got killed at another store that's not even on the same wait, street? Wait, what? Just, oh, just talking talking about, yeah. oh, my God. The I forgot about that. The kid got slammed in front of fucking... It was trying to break up the fight. It was all type of shit. I'll tell you later. We heard some rumors that it was really? a little deeper than okay, that. Okay, y'all got y'all to gotta tell me then. No. I mean, after... Yeah. No, no, not after either. Okay, <laughs> you're not trustworthy. I'm not trustworthy. You're a snitch. I've heard. I you your whole job is professional, <laughs> professionally snitching. Not really. Kind of. Who am I snitching? Asking about? incriminating questions, DJ Vlad. But I don't do it in a way that they have to. Ask I'm not. I'm, I, you're not putting he, no snitching he, allegations on me. I, I'll tell him this. He don't necessarily snitch, but he's very insensitive to what he asks. Say what? What? Says, like I'll be like, nigga, don't say this shit, and you'll be like. Why? I'm I asshole. just told you that my cat might be dying, and you laughed at me and played a fucking. I'm talking about people. I told you about I, my cat is a goddamn people, person. People that have lives. Okay, and I careers. just, what did I I say just told you about. I just, told I just you. gave you a props, and you just want to argue with me. What? What was the the example? I said you don't snitch. I said sometimes you're insensitive to questions you Nigga, ask. Nigga, you insensitive. I just told you about my dad basically killing my mom almost, and yeah. you played a fucking Law and Order. Exactly, he is. Buddy. He's super insensitive because your dad doesn't want to have to catch a case for Detective Phone. Tell him he beat his mom. He watches the show now. That's the first thing he wants to fucking hear. Well, well, maybe he should understand that that's why I didn't fuck with him. I think that he probably doesn't have... <laughs> he probably <laughs> he has a different he life. Show. It's not like nobody... You yeah. know, fucking ain't watching the next week's episode. You know how much effort it takes for people to I don't even think watch he watched the, the first one. His uh, his brother, my uncle, is the one who sent it to him. Well, now you're going to have another weird phone call. I know, right? I know, this. I know, actually. Your uncle's going to be like, you know this guy in a little house phone with no jumper? <laughs> that is that's my son. nephew. That is your son. And I ain't seen him since he was four. Yeah, yeah for and real. I beat a bitch up, and it was what it was. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, relax, bro. I hey, not for for it. See, it's out sensitive. Out of, out of pocket, bro. Um, I want to bring up. You gotta be fuck fucked up. <laughs> He's making so yeah, much right? work. Like, bro, this is, oh, I'm, I'm trying to move on. No, let's move on. <laughs> please, please move on. No, okay. I saw a really bad one the other day. This is actually way worse than anything what? that we've said today in terms of insensitivity. What? There's this clip of, fuck, I can't remember his last name. This Asian last comedian, name? this dude, Bobby fucking, I believe. Bobby Lee? Yeah, right? I think. Anyway, he's getting interviewed by fucking uh, Brendan Schaub, the former UFC fighter, and now he's mm-hmm. a comedian, podcast, or whatever. And Bobby says, well, so when I was young... I got molested repeatedly by a man with Down syndrome. <laughs> I mean, this is the point. That's what Brendan does, and it's so awkward. And I, I, just, I was going to make seen, the point that you I, and him are pretty much I like see, the I same see, dude. I, I seen that what you were talking about. Yo. He was joking though, right? No, no. he was totally oh serious. My, no. I swear I thought that was a, a, a prank. I, I think God. that this is because your heart is so cold because yeah. you've seen so much bloodshed. You've taken <laughs> men's lives in the streets. You're taking grandma's lives. <laughs> you can't just do that every time they, we bring up some real shit. Um, it's incriminating. But I, I'm making the point. Like that clip is the cringiest, craziest thing ever. Bro, I because he's that being was, so I, insensitive. I thought that that was like a joke, bro. I swear to God. No, I, isn't, it a, a, isn't it a podcast? 
Yeah. Bro, if you watch that right now, you're going to be like, what the fuck? You would laugh at it, but you're li like, for me, it made my fucking hair stand straight up because it was so awkward. <laughs> Listen to this guy reveal something so personal <laughs> and traumatic, and then to have this fucking <laughs> meathead just laugh at his face. But, bro, why you can't just say you got molested? If you said, yeah, I got molested by a guy, no one's going to laugh at that. People like, but he had Parkinson's disease. Like, no, what yeah, the fuck? Why, why does Down syndrome make it more <laughs> funny? Yeah, I understand. But if, like, if anything, it's a little bit more terrifying. But that's what I'm saying. Like, like, why did you have to put Down syndrome with Because the that? nigga probably had because the nigga had Why Down can't syndrome? he speak his truth and tell his story? <laughs> if a girl tells you that she was raped by a Chinese guy, you're going to be like, oh, oh why was the guy Chinese? But that's exactly. Not, that's what, but no, that's, that's not funny. But she said, oh, if, if, if it's if, not funny that the girl, that this uh, imaginary girl got raped that's by like, a, guy, a that's Chinese like, guy. That's like me saying, yeah, when I was five, I got raped by a guy with no legs. You're going to be like, what? What's the point of this? I mean, I guess I agree that maybe that would be maybe like, the minuscule detail. Yeah, maybe you don't have to like start out with that. And that was actually part of the problem is that. He says the thing about getting molested by a, a guy with Down syndrome, and Brandon starts laughing his fucking ass off. And then he says, "So anyway, let's try try again." He's like, let's, I've seen that. "He goes, let's totally restart." He goes, "I got molested by a guy with Down syndrome repeatedly." And Brandon <laughs> starts dying laughing. He goes, "Why are you gonna say repeatedly?" It's like, bro, but, but, how do you not take the fucking hint that he's trying to be serious? But here? that's why I thought it was fake that he just went and said that shit after. Honestly, it was so awkward that I guess I can kind of understand why you think it was fake. I didn't, I didn't and he's a was. comedian too, so I'm like, okay, he's trying to be funny. And I get that, uh, like, it's 2020. It's like Dave Chappelle idiot. saying that, and you're like, but, or bro, Will Ferrell saying that shit. You're like, oh shit, like this is funny. It's, it's everybody, fake. as a comedian, yes, there's a big incentive to like, oh, we can joke about everything. Somehow, yeah. I feel like being repeatedly molested as a young child should That's be the, terrible. Yeah. the kind of thing you could bring up on a podcast and have a serious conversation with. Much like the same way I would like to be able to talk about my cat having blood infected fucking diarrhea. That is not without funny. you being like, "Ha ha, shoot him in the head, you fucking asshole." When I found out he was yeah. eighteen for reals, it made it different. And the insensitive shit that you just said about House Phone's dad. You, you said, <laughs> what said the fuck? You said he beat up a bitch. You're talking about his mom. I know, and I realized that after, and I felt bad about it, and I was trying to move past it. But you, but that motherfucker was hilarious. I, I would keep it G. I couldn't hold my, I couldn't hold it. I just said that, and I, fucking, I wasn't thinking about the fact that. Okay, it's all right. That guys, reminds me of the people that had. You ever seen when they had like the the, the guys had like the fucked up voices? Oh so man. Like, or or like and, the, and the fucking the uh, reporter guy. I mean, the guy on the show is just laughing. He's just like, okay, he's we we have I don't to know show. What you're talking about. Oh, I, I wish we could watch this right now. Can we watch this right now? You're probably no. You're probably the it's kind funny of guy as that fuck. when you would see a commercial with the guy who with smoked the, his whole life and he's talking out of the. Throat I swear box, to God, you're probably you'll see dying this. laughing. Ah, look at him! Look at him! He's talking no, funny. He did that because of nicotine. No, that was bad. Tobacco, whatever. Yeah. This this okay. This a talk show, right? Allegedly. Uh, th this show is a talk show? No. It's I think a, it's mostly uh, a place to show off hats. <laughs> hey, Josh hey, got Josh one on too. <laughs> Josh, throw it, throw it. Throw oh, it. Josh, throw it over there. Josh yeah. came through there with the good I, I keep forgetting that Josh is in on all this, too. Hey, this shit hard as fuck. Who made this? There yeah. you go. As was that was on too when you took you it? You guys are basically just as lame <laughs> as custom sneaker dudes, huh? What? <laughs> Okay, you made your own shoes. That's not custom. Secret. I don't want to see it. But the dorks, <laughs> the people who, who be oh, doing yeah. all the custom modifications. <laughs> they put like butterflies on their Air Force, Air Force ones. ones into like fucking Gucci shoes and shit like that. Mm. I mean, I'm sorry. That's just gay as fuck. And y'all <laughs> are basically like on the same exact level. No, the hats is fire. Why do you have a fucking awesome logo on your fucking hat? You don't know anything about yeah. fucking awesome. You know, you know, zero. You know, you know awesome. what it, it's a skate brand. Well, I got it. Who started it? The NFT people. <laughs> Someone's gonna tell you in the comments. <laughs> the <laughs> NFT people. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking hate both Fuck of y'all. Oh my also, fucking god. I also wanted to say shout out to Parker Ann because she's sick. Damn. Not you did say that. Crazy. You said that earlier. But I just like COVID to... sick? No. So you don't laugh at kids. She's getting never joke about. Well, you don't laugh at cats either. Especially raw ass cats like Tony. See, this you said raw ass. That's why you haven't been allowed in my house. Because I've been to your house before. Cats. No, I can hop the fence. Yeah, well, I mean, but you we got, got a fence. You don't you let me in, but you let my brother in. Yeah, you got a fence. Probably because he's been in jail longer. I got a gate. I, I seen Yuri in your house one time. How the fuck did that happen? He was working on my computer. Oh, okay. <laughs> that makes sense. I told him. Did you feed him? Absolutely not. <laughs> did you offer him some water? Dick. Um, no, <laughs> I, uh, I told him. That him and Riley could come and hang out at the pool sometime if they wanted, like come hang out with me. And Why Linda. would young youthful kids? Ten talks. 
why would they want to come and hang out with old man Adam? I have a pool. <laughs> yeah. It is and nice. we're friends, allegedly. Allegedly. Who knows? You're more of like his boss who just like yells at him. And I'm trying to think Yuri's deranged. Every time. Okay. I heard that when he replaced me last week, he was trying to defend incest in some type of way. Who? Was he? I don't remember. Yuri. Someone, did, did he say someone that? told me that someone was like, I don't understand why it's against the law. I would like to know more about Yuri having sex with members of his own family because that's I, really I, I don't remember that part. Who told you that? Yeah. Somebody who watched the episode told me this. But was it the part where we have the conversation about like how. Were you guys talking about a incest? girl got mad because she went through her boyfriend's search results and she saw that he was searching up incest porn? Is that's that what the context that it was under? Was I in the bathroom? I don't know. Maybe we didn't talk about this, but either way, that Some, is, I think that's an important topic to discuss. What well, would you do if you can found? We, could we bring Yuri in so we could? Huh? It was oh, they were talking about Chris Chan. Oh, uh, well, he literally he raped. He this literally raped. Mom. Oh, who's yeah. Chris Chan? This psycho. <laughs> it's this guy related to Two Chains. Um, <laughs> no, uh, Two Chan. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna explain this for you real quick. We had Chris Chan or. <laughs> <laughs> We had Chris Chan on the podcast. I'm fucking dead. <laughs> I'm lost. I imagine we did back in the day, though. <laughs> so it. he made a fucking cartoon called Sonichu, where he combined Sonic and Pikachu. And, like, he just ate basically ended up being a weirdo. He, he's a crazy fucking psychopath dude who is, like, literally mentally disabled. Yeah. And basically, the, he's been on the internet for a long time. Like, and a long the, the time. internet... F- like would fuck with him like people would fuck with him and like, like troll him, troll and, him and make him think that shit was different than it was and just mess with him pretend to be girls make him fall in love with them and then they just like make <laughs> yeah, fun no, of him, no, expose him all this crazy fucked up shit why do they do this to him the lore of it is super deep because I guess it's fun to super torment deep. a handicapped person allegedly anyway oh, no. so it's fucked up yeah. somehow he ended up Raping his disabled mother, who has Ooh. dementia and don't remember anything. What a fucking creep! And then he was like he telling told this girl, people too, he was like telling this girl out. about yeah. it. Yeah. Otherwise, I guess nobody would ever know. What? Who the fuck would do some shit like that? Chris Chan. Chris Chan. You a bitch, Chris Chan. <laughs> anyway, Yuri said that he thought that dude was just fine. <laughs> no, he did not. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but I think it was in the context. I don't of that believe that. Maybe it was in the context of that, but I don't believe that. But what I would like to talk about is, yeah, how would you feel? If you went through, was you know, if you're a girl and you went through your boyfriend's search results on, I don't phone, want to on Pornhub, <laughs> and you found that he was looking at incest porn, how upset would you be? What if you found out that your girl was looking at incest porn? How would you feel? It's like why? Why, why does it have to be turned into like some weird sexual thing between incest because yeah. it, it no, actually I mean, literally involves having sex no i'm just mean uh, like i'm saying like does, why? does she have a brother and for the record all incest porn is fake yeah okay. obviously maybe in the history of the world there's been like some incest porn i was gonna say real, i'm pretty sure i clicked on the lana Rhodes video that was like fuck my stepbrother or some yeah, weird always, shit like that yeah. but why is that even like because people love it it's one of the biggest genres of porn That's i just seen, i can't wait to get into it i just seen something <laughs> on like, like a little news thing of this guy this boy and his mom me and lana brother and sister <laughs> no this guy and his mom are in a relationship what did we talk about my show last week yeah, this guy is like with his mom, and he's basically he's like, the mom's like, yeah, we're in love. It is what it is. The kids, yeah, said that's definitely a great, one. that's a great one. Ironically, she is the mama, bro. But but basically, it was like, yeah, the brothers and sisters didn't like it at first. Now they're they're okay with it. Yeah, Nick is piping his mom. Did you ever know anyone in the hood who was piping their Yo, mother? Yeah, stop, stop it. No, but I do know of some of the homies piping some some of the homies' mamas. That's different, though. It's not your mom. But that's kind of blasphemy. There's a, how? Diff- a different level of sick fuck for a guy who fucks their own mom. Bro, how would you feel if I... Well, I ain't gonna say your mom. How would you feel if one of your homies fucks your mom, bro? Bro. That's like the ultimate disrespect, bro. Yeah, but like you it's were saying, more that, like, disrespect from your mom to you. Yeah, right. Like, like I'd be even more mad at my mom. Well, but then like, what's the difference? Oh, homie? Monte! Like, tell if, your friends I have Kool Aid. Like, what if my mom all of a sudden is single and I'm friends with Tyson Beckford, and Tyson Beckford is smashing my mom? Well, if Tyson smash your mom, then your mom exactly. It's like, who lit. am I to say? Hey, mom, don't go get this fucking great, high quality, high value man just because I smoke blunts with them every once in a while. Watching Fresh and Fit too much all day, bro. Just speaking kidding. of Fresh and Fit, bro, they're beefing. So, they are with each other. No, but they got beef with somebody else. 
Mm. I can tell you about it momentarily. Whoa. 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 You don't even know who it is. I know. It don't matter. No, <laughs> but somebody today has been going to every picture of theirs, dissing them and tagging me in there uh, and why? DMing me like, you need to stop believing these guys. I, will I tell said, you these why. are the homies. Why? What do you mean I believe them? I will tell you People why. love to in, in, entice you and stuff. Yeah, that has, I don't know. They're trying to drag you into it. Because yeah, they're, right. They're, they're, yeah. Okay. <laughs> because it is what? But Fresh and Fear are great guys. Because they are pussies, but I was talking about the, the fans. Mm. Fresh and Fear are great then, guys, though. Okay, Whatever. tell us, tell us, tell us. They are currently beefing with these other YouTubers, these other two black dudes named Abba and Preach. Okay. And they basically make videos. To, they're, they're roughly part of the Manosphere. Mm. I only say two black dudes because I know that AD, that's going to be his first question. Yeah. Is, are they niggas? <laughs> <laughs> so they're kind of like considered part of the same world as Kevin Samuels and Fresh and Fit, where they're talking about men's issues, primarily male audience. That's called the Manosphere, okay. not, not mayonnaise. Like the man show. That. Like the man show, for, mm -hmm. for sure. And somehow they ended up getting into a whole beef over dudes buying pussy. Fresh mm. and Fit debated this topic with uh, one of the guys from Abram Preach, and they fucking basically have just been going back and forth, kind of arguing about it. And, you know, I, and I think the argument is kind of about legalization primarily. Of, okay. Of if it should be legal for women to sell pussy. Here's, I, I believe two things at once, and I will go into this in the future on other podcasts, but I think that prostitution should definitely be legalized because it's just safer for the women it's safer yeah. for the guys involved it's going to cause way less drug addiction and weird shit yeah. it's probably <laughs> like like if if it were normalized for prostitution to take place within like you know venues or like buildings that are dedicated to this yeah. i've seen this in amsterdam where it's like yeah. these girls just literally work out of these little booths on the side of the fucking road in the red mm -hmm. red light district and you can go in back and there's like security that can like see shit and everything so it's like way safer yeah it protects the girls it me it, it's gonna stop child prostitution it's gonna stop abuse I think it just ultimately solves a lot of problems. Now, that being said, to the guys watching this, if you're like a young man, I would advise you to primarily pursue women who want to have sex with you without it's, you giving them money. Exactly. I hey, yes. don't think that that's like good for you overall in your life to just be out here just buying prostitutes all mm -hmm. the time. And don't yeah. find nobody like Britney Renner. Well, young kids. Don't impregnate her for sure. Yeah. Don't impregnate a prostitute pull up, pull in general. Up, pull yeah. up. But I just think that, you know. I don't think it's great for a large percentage of men, but at the same time, if you're a guy and you've got fed, like, like for instance, like let's say that you are a guy who likes doing some freaky shit. You like getting tied up. You kind of, I mean, what are you going to do? Are you going to go? And, and I, I heard one of the Avon preacher dudes making this point, but like, what are you going to do? Are you going to go and date, go to the bar, meet women and then tell them, Hey, I want, I, you, to I want you to tie up. me up. And they just hope it works out. And yeah, like, what if you just freak the one of them out or some shit? No, because I mean, if it's gonna make you just as happy to go and pay some chick a couple hundred bucks to tie you up and fulfill your fucking sexual fantasy, you're like, hey, I want you to stab me in the testicles. Right. Take this screwdriver, put it in my ass. Take this other screwdriver, put it in my penis hole, and then not bang that, them together. <laughs> what the yeah, fuck? Yeah, not that many, not that many girls you meet at the fucking local bar are gonna be down. <laughs> yeah, for instance, with you and the pegging thing, is the obvious reason why you pay women to do this to you is because it's hard for you to find other women who want to do this, right? Insert. House Keep it real. You got pegged before, bro. Oh. <laughs> I am I am new to, to no jumper. In, I'm not a peg guy. Insert house phone gets pegged off the ketamine joke here. Oh, you just made it so much worse. It's okay. It's no, I, for the record, oh, no. Tony. I have not. Been. Now you overusing it. <laughs> Probably, yeah, yeah. I have oh. got I have got my ass ate though, and it felt amazing. Wow. Me too, but I'm not letting her put a finger in there. <laughs> I'm not down. I didn't even ask her to. She just lifted my legs up and went crazy. Honestly, like. In my whole life before Lana, I don't feel like I ever had a girl want to finger my ass. Now, granted, I've been with her for five years, so it's kind of like... So you're like, oh, go ahead, do your thing. I now. feel like pre-2016, very few women were trying to bust out the butt finger technique yeah, that's on dudes. Crazy. I feel like even eating... I mean, you're in porn. Eating dudes' ass has become so much more normalized. It's just like when I was single, yeah. it was still kind of rare. I believe that, yeah. Yeah. That's why I try to eat I a dude's ass every day. Huh? I didn't hear what you said. 
You, you on a <laughs> podcast with headphones in with us. You didn't hear this nigga just say that. What do you say? I'm just joshing. I'm around. just joshing around, guys. I'm joshing around, no Josh. He literally no Josh. We got Riley on the board. I mean, chicken curry with Yuri. That was kind of weak. That was like <laughs> you pushed that one. Oh, excuse me, right. Adam. There we go. <laughs> the extreme delay before the crickets. yeah. I was gonna say <laughs> no. I actually didn't press it at first. That's why. <laughs> yeah, see, I I said, <laughs> see, the thing about the soundboard is we probably it has to be like in a neutral zone where you can just get to it as fast as possible. Well, I think it should just be one person using. it. I think him having the extreme turnarounds. I don't want to try to keep it. Yeah, ready. I know. Oh, I can't actually. Yeah, because you yeah, you try then to I turn can just do it this. Out. I can't stretch it out. Shouldn't have smoked it. Well, but then you won't even know what you're pressing. Kiki was doing that on the stream on Friday. He was just guessing, just hitting random <laughs> ones. It was pretty funny because it would just be whatever. I'm kind of offended. Yeah, high too. I'm kind of offended that there's none related to me at all in there. Well, the reason why it took Nigga, so long. you don't come here. There's barely, there's only one that's related to me. <laughs> it's mostly AD related stuff because AD. Nigga, is, this is my idea. That's yeah. a fact. I was never. Mr. Wait, is there Shambor two of them? Guy. Is there another one over there? Josh no. has one. Too. Oh, oh wow, yeah. it's lit. Yeah. <laughs> so that's a whole thing. Anyway, so Fresh and Fit are, are beefing with these dudes about this topic, and I mean, I guess I haven't seen it yet, but I guess Fresh and Fit put out a video reacting and responding, and they said some out of pocket shit like, mm. uh, "Fucking Myron was talking about one of the dudes. I guess one of the dudes is in a, in a relationship where he's married, and he said like." You married probably to some fucking beluga whale. <laughs> <laughs> so you know that, and, and so the dude was saying that when he sees him, he's gonna beat his ass because there's certain res, res, yeah. certain lines you can't cross. Which, to be honest, I stand with Fresh and Fit. Yeah, those are the homies. But I mean, you know, if somebody said that to you, you if probably some, ain't gonna just forget yeah, about it, right? That's a fact. You know, who Liam Nelson is Liam. Yeah. The fucking guy from Naked Take, Gun. Taken? From Taken, Adam. No, I have no idea who that is. You never seen What? Dude, really? That's crazy. Well, why? What, what is you, that? Won't, you won't get it. What is Taken? No, no, but why Wait, yeah, wait, why are you referencing Taken, though? What is Taken? The limps that he goes to. <laughs> <laughs> the limps that's he what you would <laughs> <laughs> To try to find these people. Well, some, I've never seen movie. you with a beluga whale. Yeah, it's a movie. I've some never movie. seen you with a beluga whale, so I don't think you have that problem. Nothing wrong with beluga whales. Uh, hey, whales need love, too. Hell yeah. I've been morbid. Morbid what? <laughs> Morbidly obese. Oh. I've gone morbid yeah. many oh. times throughout my life. That story about you and the... the job of the hut? <laughs> You're still thinking about it? <laughs> hey, what happened to that fucking guy, too, that uh, that, that dissed us? He really didn't say too much about me. Oh, he's yeah, on fresh and fit. The pickup artist guy? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Wait, man. what? Oh, yeah, these fucking idiots here. These fucking retards. He says the word retard He called like me a retard. Times. He doesn't even know me. That was funny because he's he like, was mad. Him, him and his sidekick retard over here. He was fucking so mad. He's like, got beef with Danny Mullen now too. And then he doesn't even know your name. He just says, "This fucking guy, no jumper." I know. <laughs> I love when they just <laughs> refer to tattoos. you as no jumper. I'm yeah. like, you really think that I'm gonna listen to what you say when you got you had to move to Brazil to, to get, get pussy? women, bitch? Wow. I, he had to move to a third world country to get somebody to respect him. <laughs> <laughs> I wrote on his, I wrote on his YouTube too. Can't wait to catch you. <laughs> <laughs> the only way you gonna, only way you gonna catch that nigga is if you on vacation <laughs> the fact that that dude thought well, what's, it, what's a, his name i have no idea son of a bitch fuck the, you the thought that that dude Por, would wait, even Por, for a second take nigga who moved to puerto rico you make a video nah, about brazil, this brazil, brazil. <laughs> <laughs> the nigga from brazil the only time you go only way you're gonna catch that nigga is if you're on vacation bro but he's so serious he's like i have the science of how many women i've been with i have it down to a t I we're know. like bro like what he's bragging bro, he's about crazy, like, bro. 1476 women and yeah. then like, it'll say on the screen 1,477 with an asterisk. Like, <laughs> since he edited this this video got made, I'm like, bro, you got are, some more are you and, fucking and then, serious? Yeah, you moved to a third world country, my nigga, to have sex with women. I don't what think a, we what should a be saying that Brazil creep. is a third world country because it's probably it's not, not. It's not, yeah. But yeah. either way, I'm saying Y'all got like, Brazil fucked up. It's just, Shout out to all my Brazilians out there. certain types of dudes that want to move to countries that have like yeah. dramatically Do that in America. GDPs and then just ball out and be like, That's yeah, so weird. look how many Thai bitches I got. Check me out. And it's like, bro. He's like, my life is so great. You bought look the McDonald's. They're fucking you for McDonald's. I'm sorry. Basically. Anyway, but this is the bugged out shit so danny mullen is this comedian that i did a podcast hilarious. with he's fucking hilarious his youtube channel is great you would love it uh but he's got this one black dude in his crew right this black dude is is broke i guess he spent three thousand dollars on that dude's courses 
to, <laughs> to learn how to get girls on the Brazilian guys course. Yes, and somehow the fact that he's black seems very important because that just dismays me even more that this dude fell you, for this. Do you not think that there's like no nerdy black niggas that you can't get coochie? I just am shocked that a black dude wanted to I learn like to think from that guy. The chocolate rain would be one of the people. I want to just nah. He's the one running the course. What you mean? Yeah, yeah. He got, you got him fucked up. Yeah, yeah. Tire. Actually, all, <laughs> you got he, him fucked he up. He might be a hobo sexual. I don't know. Damn, I can't Ooh. remember. I, I feel like we might have talked about that. Chocolate rain. Don't make it about him. Okay. Anyway, go. <laughs> all I'm saying is that. But this is a good point. Is mm -hmm. that if you're gonna take advice from anyone about how to get laid, like if you're the type of person who wants to spend money on courses about That's how to get crazy. laid. That's crazy. You can't really be like like nobody's gonna wanna buy me or use course house phone to a lesser extent. Because <laughs> somebody might buy my because course. My we, course would be nice. We yeah. have clout. True. We have at least some money. True. He has a shoe company. <laughs> yes. You have a rap career. I have a YouTube channel. True. We like already clearly like get girls like pretty much without that much difficulty. If I was trying to buy a course, are you gonna wanna listen to me? Probably fucking not. You probably want to, because if that guy really is fucking 1,500 girls, I mean, he clearly knows something. Because that, that means he passed all of us. He looks like a fucking bridge troll. Like <laughs> the idea that oh the idea God. that he but he's like fucking bitches in. You may not pass. He's like giving them like five pesos. I guarantee that he's cooking up a video right now saying that I get laid in English speaking countries as well. But yeah, I, I don't even care. <laughs> fuck you, bitch ass nigga. Come hey, to the West Coast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're fuck gonna see about you, Liam Nelson, right here. Hey, no little mouse, but you can fuck around and get smoked <laughs> over here, buddy. <laughs> oh uh, shit. Anyway. <laughs> wow, that, you you go so out of the way to hit one that don't You're even matter. You're it yourself. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I would have probably done like the C Mag one on who because like, well, if, I want C Mag to run down on that guy. You, you want him to put all your problems down. Yeah. C Mac is my bodyguard. When you I sick him on Raw Wave for no reason. You that feel bad about that? that? That's not how that happened. That was that. You got to apologize to Raw Wave. I do not want that. to cause any yeah. sort of tension between two Chubby Brothers because to me, <laughs> Rod Wave and C Mac <laughs> could be the new Fat Boys. You remember the Fat Boys? Fat Boys are back. Yeah. You ever seen the movie they, they came from? Imagine too? Rod Wave and C Mac dancing around with their shirts off to that. Oh my God! Why are we talking about this? Um, I seen a picture of Rod Wave and Maxwell Cream together. That was cool. I've seen that too. Yeah, that was he gave him some persona. That's hard. His merch is fire. Cause I need my persona too, nigga. Come on. We're going to Houston. When we going to Houston? Why nobody like, tells me nothing? Hose Mag collab drop. Why nobody tells me anything? I didn't even. I didn't even know about this. I have the Hose Mag collab. I have th I three too. shirts. Are you gonna come and you're gonna find the ratchets? Can I go? I love. I Houston. can't be around them. I'm gonna have to sit on the other side of the room. And we beat gotta go dick. to Turkey Leg Hut though. Mm. Fucking what the fuck is that? Turkey leg hut is like the club, bro. But it's they sell crazy turkey legs, bro. Turkey leg, leg hut. hut, amazing. Bro. It's a strip club. No, nigga, it's a turkey leg hut place, nigga. Well, you said so it's you like just the go club. there and just get a turkey leg. It's like the line be like down the street, bro. In the mornings, you can we get cut? Early. Shit's all fucked up in Houston, huh? Can we? No, cut it's the fire line? though, bro. Turkey leg hut is a line. Just, I've never heard that as like an attraction, nigga. It's a line around the corner. They got hookah. They got drinks and shit there. People they go they there. Got hookah. Yeah, the shit fire. So you're eating a turkey leg with one hand and you're smoking hookah with the other hand. I've done it. Wait, look, look, look. So you ever get turkey leg juice all over the hookah? Maybe. What if, you, what if you just put the turkey leg on top of the hookah and just smoke the turkey? <laughs> Fill your lungs with, with fucking turkey, hookah turkey and smoke. then just eat a whole bite of turkey leg Wait, and then breathe it out? To crackle. No, no, that sounds bad. To crackle? Yeah, I tried to put turkey and tobacco together and it came up with to crackle. You remember when Homer Simpson made tobacco? <laughs> And it was, oh, it, was like, it was like uh, tomatoes and tobacco mixed. I remember that. That sounds like the worst thing ever. That was after the Simpsons. What, stopped my favorite funny. Simpson episode was what's the nigga with the uh, the he had the eyes like the Chinese shit, the clean Mr. Clean shit. What was it? Racist. No, no. I, I was stop racist. Asian hate. Hashtag stop Asian no, hate. No, it was like an anim, It was like a fake anime that that Simpson had, and his name was I like Mr. That. Something. I forgot. Somebody remind me. But his eyes was basically like anime. Like Chinese style, fucking Asian, Asian style, bro. You know what the fuck I mean. The fat Hashtag boys stop Asian are hate. back. Hey, if we get fat. We gotta fucking. I'm not going back fat. I don't know. I like. The, I like. I'm, I'm liking the the weight loss. I heard you got plenty back fat. Back fat. Back fat. I heard you're training a fighter. I'm flat. You're gonna get your DDG on and go fight somebody, huh? I want to fight everyone. You want to do a boxing match? What's me and you fight? Is that what you're training for? Hell no. Why? Because I just don't feel right about it. Why? About not about having your shirt off in public or about fighting somebody? If I was boxing, I would probably feel pretty good about the way I looked by the time I was ready to box. I don't want to box AD. Why? We're friends. We're on the same team. True. Yeah, yeah. You got to want to see us box. You got to box somebody. You it actually got to be animosity. Who, who should? 
Who's a podcast that we should box? Like no jumper versus who? I know. Their crew. Fresh and fit. Fresh you and can fit. fight. You can fight the little one. <laughs> the little one. Fresh. <laughs> you fight fresh. <laughs> fresh. I can't hurt fresh. That's my guy, man. You it should seem like nice guys. I'm trying to think. Who's like another YouTube crew that has like multiple personalities? I know. We need to. We, we need to fight, fight like Joe Rogan. Barstool people. But I can't fight a Gillian Wobble. Them my guys. I only know like one or two of them. Yeah, I don't know any of them. Bro, the Barstool Pizza account follows me. I'm trying to figure out who that is. I want to do that shit with them. We should fight. We should fight like Breakfast Club or something. DJ Envy. Who, who fight, are you fighting? I'm fighting. I'll fight Envy or Charlemagne, honestly. Really? I was like, don't try to fight Angelique. If Lee. us three were going to fight the Breakfast Club, you got to take Angelique. <laughs> <laughs> well, we need, we need one girl. Dude, I guess we have Riley fighter. Or Eliza. Oh, God. We're, <laughs> we're swapping you out for Eliza. Go ahead. Take that fade. Well, that's a crazy. But, but who do you think is tougher, Charlamagne or DJ Envy? Probably. I, I mean, think Charlamagne, just because he's dark skinned Charlamagne from South Carolina. Yeah, he, he he probably had to get a couple brawls for sure. And I seen I seen him dodge that jumping on video. True. So I I, I know he been in some situations because the way he got out of somebody that. ever tried to hit you like that from the side. Hell yeah. Damn, nigga, what? You never got beat up. Yeah, bro, I got jumped all that. Yeah, he asked he, you. You asked that like you've never been jumped before. When, no, though? I'm just saying. I mean, like, he acts like he's never taken an L. He acts no, like he's everybody, a tough guy. No, everybody takes L's. I didn't take L's. This is in and wrong. Before that. when? Give us an example. You ever get beat up? When's the last time I, I told you took an L? I yeah, told when's a, the last time you got I told humiliated? A, I told a story. Um, I think on my podcast. I don't think you've ever been humiliated recently. Nah. Because I roll, yeah, I roll I with another friend. Daily. <laughs> Daily. He gets humiliated every day. Well, he gets humiliated when he hires these women to stomp on his balls and spit in oh, his yeah. face Here and fuck go. him in the ass and with a bat. No, <laughs> I told a story on, on, on my pod, basically how I got hit like the hardest. Mm. I was trying, I was like trying to be hard, and somebody socked the shit out of my From jaw. From the side, bro. boom, bro. Like I was like, they sneaked you, bro. They sneaked me. I thought my jaw was broken. Damn, I don't know who did it to this day. You want to hear what a, a, a time that I got fucking knocked out, kind of bad? All right, so. If you got knocked out, it was bad. It wasn't like knocked out, knocked out, but it was pretty bad. So there was a dude that I had beef with back in the day, and I was in Long Beach for the first time, and I had problems with I'm from I'm living in New York at the time. I had problems with this kid. He lives in New York. I go to this BMX premiere event with a couple of my homies because we happen to be in Long Beach. I see this dude that I have problems with. I fucking run across the bar and just start beating his ass like crazy, and my fucking homies are... Throwing every, people are trying to break this fight up. You know, a bar fight don't usually last that long. Yeah, there's people they're throwing people off of me so I can keep fighting them. And so like that happens for a little bit. Then the bar staff or whatever breaks it up. And then like somebody's just like got me over like in this like little like you know up, pull to the side of the bar. And this one like employee or like one dude who's like down at the fucking bar or whatever, he just comes out of nowhere and just fucking cold cocks me out of fucking nowhere. And they had the a bar walk, employee. Uh, it, uh, it, this is like a dude that I, I actually ended up being cool with him after this, mm. and we talked and stuff. But like, my fucking friends had to like walk me out of there, and I'm like, Ooh. sheesh. I'll tell you my most embarrassing one. This okay. is embarrassing. This one, and they didn't take my phone away, so I tweeted about it afterwards. And I was saying <laughs> all kinds they of bugged take out my shit. Phone away. I was saying bugged out shit. It was like 2009 would, or something. Why would they have taken your phone? So that I couldn't have tweeted. <laughs> because I really shouldn't have been tweeting. I was bugging out. No, bro. My, the most embarrassing the concussion one, had you tripping. I'm, yeah, at a, yeah. I'm at a fucking strip club, right? And I guess... Male one or female? Bro. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm faded, bro, right? And the, the promoter has a problem with the homie. So... Oh, uh, God. That's so, the wrong place to be. So he sees me, but he's like... The stage is like right here. So he's like above everybody. So he sees me walk in. And he's like... He's like, hey, where your homie at? And I'm not putting two and two together. I'm like, he over there. <laughs> you feel me? So then, dun, 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 my, detect, <laughs> detect my homie comes. Yeah, the, I, I, I deserve it now. My homie comes over there, I'll right? Did, I'll decide that. Yeah. So I tap my homie like, I'm thinking it's cool. I tap my homie like, hey, bro. Woo, woo, woo. So he comes over there. Mm. And nigga's like, why did you some, 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 something? He tries to like punch the homie. Bro. Nigga, I tried to jump up to sock the nigga, bro. And somebody my, No, no. I jumped up, bro, and as I tried to get on stage, my nigga, I just went <laughs> and fell face first. Off Were you the drunk? Stage? Bro, I fell face first on the stage, bro. Were you drunk? Yes, bro. <laughs> but you I'm know, like, like you trying to sock somebody, trying to look cool, and then you just go, boom, you fall flat. Jesus Everybody's Christ. like, oh. I'm like, I didn't do nothing. I didn't do nothing. And everybody saw it. Everybody thinks that I got knocked out, bro, because yeah, I fucking fell, bro. 
Wow. But or, then, or maybe, but then the homie's brother, bro, came out of nowhere, bro, and clotheslined the nigga off the stage, bro. Oh, Jesus Amazing. Christ! Wow. But that was like I wasn't proud of that shit. I got teased for that for a minute. Yeah, that's tough. Bro, one of the I probably you probably heard this story a million times, but I got jumped in front of the standard uh downtown. Hotel? Yeah. Cause these these like rich Armenian niggas, they was like fucking with the gay homie, like calling him a faggot and shit like that. He's like Whoa. he's he's like niggas. That's not appropriate. Bro, look, no. these homies. Look, look, he was like <laughs> he kicks him with a bunch no, of No, literally, literally. Literally, it's probably <laughs> Look, 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 look. Yeah, look, look. he's homophobic. But the homie, but the homie is from South Central, bro. So he's like, nigga, you a faggot. He spits in the guy's mouth, right? Oh, so no, literally, oh, that's literally, sexy. Literally. Yuck. He, he cocked, I would tune in for that. He, he cocked back, spit in this nigga mouth, right? Does he have OnlyFans? So I'm, <laughs> I'm dancing. I'm dancing with this girl the whole time. I didn't even know this little altercation happened. The homie got kicked out. So I go run downstairs. I'm trying to find the homie. I'm like, which one of y'all niggas called the homie a fat? And before I could even finish, they start beating my ass. <laughs> <laughs> before I could even finish the sentence, right? So look, so so look, look, look. But look, I, I can't lie though. I can't lie. This is the first time I ever knocked somebody out, bro. This nigga ran up and threw the weirdest punch. Like, ah, his whole face is open. Hit him one time. Boom, face first, right? Nigga, the other nigga takes off his Gucci belt and starts swinging like the metal part at me. Oh, right? no. He's, like, he's using it as a weapon, swinging it at it's me, like right? It's like medieval times. No, so just literally. create a fucking weapon out of thin air. Like. Bro, literally, and it's like six of them. So I knocked the first one out, it's five left. Even if you knocked the first one out, you won. Exactly. Nah. You won if you even get your ass moved, bro. I said that until they started stomping me out. So this is what happened. <laughs> he hit me, he hit me with the belt buckle, right? And I, I hit the ground. And as soon as I'm getting up, he pooty tangs you? Bro, somebody <laughs> listen, somebody runs up from behind and just kicks the back of my head into the ground. <laughs> That's why my tooth is fucked up. It's oh, like overlapping. What? Yeah, my shit bounced off the ground. They start packing me out, right? But then the gay homie grabs my skateboard. And just knocks another nigga out. He knocked the trucks off of the board. You know they're screwed in. Yeah. He hit the nigga so hard the trucks came off. His trucks were probably mad loose. It, they were. They were my trucks. They were a little loose. Yeah. But why do you do that for certain tricks? Just, just like it, it's like easier. <laughs> it's easier to like like ride around with. I feel like I don't I was know. Just no, but yeah. So we got two of them. But yeah, bro. That reminds me, bro. And it's the last fight story. Bro, I go to this fucking. Peak. I love when they try to show off like this. No, no, I did. I have nothing they, to do. With, they, us black they. people. No, you specifically, you two. <laughs> I have nothing to do with this story. We're talking about getting beat up, not about winning I'm, fights. That's I, a good point. I'm in. I'm in, I go to this peak. You know, you're just proving how much damage you could take. Yeah. yeah. Pause. Bro, you know, you know, Hollywood Boulevard. They got the pizza places and stuff. Oh god. Oh, yeah. So after stay the, away from those. So after the club, I go to one of the pizza places like next to Playhouse. Bro. That sounds like I go a, to Greco's. I, I think I think I think that's the one I go to. It's good. That sounds like a fight waiting to happen. Bro, I actually have not been to Hollywood Boulevard since I lived in Hollywood. That's I, good. I walk into the pizza place, right? And then this this crazy looking black guy walks in. He's like this. Wow, he had to be black. Huh? No, I'm just saying. He's like this. He's looking. And I'm looking at him. I'm like, fuck is this nigga? Like, you feel me? I'm on him. He's like, AD, what's up, bro? I'm like, oh, what's up? Shake his hand and shit like that. So I'm like, all right, it's cool. He's getting pizza. Some random like Italian guy comes into the fucking place with some girls and touches the man's butt. The guy? Yes, nigga. The oh, crazy nah. looking guy black guy. grabs the crazy black man's bro, house. Bro, he touched his butt, bro. I swear to you, I've never seen nothing like this in my life, bro. Why? Like he just the nigga turned like, around. Hey, man, just smacked the He was ass. just at the table and he just like, like oh, touched his no. ass. The nigga turned around. He said, who did that? The guy said, I did. That nigga shit. <laughs> Bow, bro. Hit this nigga so hard, bro. I got it on video too. I'm like this. The nigga's on the ground like this. He's like, ah. I'm like, why would you touch another man's ass? And, just, and he didn't even deny it, bro. That was crazy, though. The fact that he just like owned up to it, like, it was me. Bro, I'm going to find the video and show you. The guy's on the floor. I'm like, shit, I did it. Look at you now. He's all outside the pizza place, bro. I thought you. I thought this was going to be a story about the guy knocking you out. No. Hollywood Boulevard's fun. Like, that's what happens when you're around a lot of drunk people. Shit like that yeah. just starts happening. Yeah, but then you see those videos of, like, some ran like, like that random girl that got shot on Hollywood Boulevard. That's crazy. Like, and died. Like, fucking yeah, just. I, I don't want to be exposed to that risk. That's what I'm saying. You can run into Brian Pumper out there. Yeah, trying to fucking seduce. <laughs> I used to see Brian Pumper all the time come to the club with girls on leashes. So what, if, far. what if you find out in, like, fucking. I should make a video about him. What if you find you out. Did. What if you find out in 18 years that Brian Pumper is like trying to like seduce Parker Ann on the train to come be a part of one of his uh I'm gonna be honest with you, and... my main goal in life is to make sure Parker don't Never ever have to take, take the, the train. train. <laughs> you remember you hear whack? My daughter 
has never had a <laughs> curb in front of her house. That was a flex. That was hard. The way he just kept saying I didn't it. know what that meant, but then I had to think about it. I'm like, oh, okay. That was a flex. No curb. No curb. Just all grass. Ain't no curb stomping going on here. But I mean, like, even past the grass, though, isn't there usually like a That's curb in like a nice neighborhood? <laughs> I was just saying, like, is there no sidewalks in the neighborhood? I at was all? kind of confused because I'm like, you know, even a nice neighborhood has a curb. Like, there's <laughs> or, cars and there's people walking. You got to manage this at the same time. Curb seems like a great solution. I don't know. Maybe he meant something a little different. My daughter ain't never seen a sidewalk before. She never mind. even looked at a road. <laughs> Hey, the six nines dropping new music. They you, hate when I talk about them. Actually, who, we get hella views when we talk about them. Well, the one clip got like 250k. Yeah, I know. First day. But I watched, I watched a little bit of a Steve will do it vlog. I watched like what? the first five minutes. And Takashi's in it. He's talking to six nine about music, and six nine saying that he feels like he never understood true friendship until he started hanging out with Steve will do it and Bradley wow. Martin, and now he's inspired to put out music, and he has a big. Feature that he said he's putting it out like I think Friday or Thursday. I think. Wait, what? Like, what about their bromance is so inspiring that he'd never seen before? I mean, when you really think about it, do they buy each other cars or something? Yeah, and they're yeah. giving each other cars and stuff. And I guess in you six, should be friends with them so you can get a car. I, I guess in the six nine situation, he was probably the one buying shit for everybody. Exactly. <laughs> Nobody's buying shit for him back. <laughs> I mean, so, when you're comparing so your, when you're comparing your friends to like the murderous bloods who tried to kill you, mm. well, at least like one guy tried to kill him or whatever. Dun, dun, dun. Stay away from my soundboard. Um, <laughs> I guess it's like kind of easy to seem like good friends in comparison to that. Yeah, I mean, I, he probably just never seen white rich bromance before. Yeah, and I'm sure there's all kinds of people who have been good friends to him that watch that and were like, you're like the worst friend ever. Yeah. What the <laughs> fuck are you talking about? I think that they're the best clout friends. Like, may, and I'm not denying that they're like real friends, but I'm saying that like they also have a shitload of clout. And money and access to things. Well, Gunna just bought Young Thug a pink Bentley for fire. his birthday. Yeah, but then there would be no gun if there wasn't Young Thug. So what? you have to, you lo you literally have to do something when, like when that. When I see that, it just makes me wonder how much money they have because that that car's got to be what like at least two fifty, like two fifty probably. It depended on a year. He may, maybe get a good deal on it. I guess one seventy five. Like, if you you're think? gonna, I mean, gonna got it. Does gonna, gonna have it. like ten twenty million in the bank? You think? I believe so. You think? I mean, if he got it, he probably got a chain that's worth as much as that car. Yeah, so it's probably. like, you know, so it's like, that's probably nothing. Rappers love just put, making a, a spectacle out of giving a crazy gift. Though. Well, giving I wish you would have gave me car. a fucking Bentley for my birthday. You didn't even tell me. All, all, all you gave me was tequila. I don't know. if I, I didn't even get that. I don't think I've ever done anything for one of my friend's birthdays that cost more than like a couple hundred dollars, to be honest with you. Yeah. And I consider anything outside of that kind of excessive. Kind of ridiculous. Yeah. kind of crazy. <laughs> the most was the most expensive thing I did for a girl's birthday. I so like, I shouldn't buy your Rolex in the future. You fucked your ass with her toe. No, that was, that was not expensive. me. That was not me. No, um, I got a I got a girl just like uh, she's a graphic designer, and I got like her logo made for her on a chain. That was it. That's nice. But it wasn't even that expensive. It was like maybe like a grand. Yeah. Rack. I think that's reasonable. I mean, were you fucking her? You also yeah. bought her some blends. Well, then, yeah, that's good. That wasn't the same girl. What's going on with? <laughs> that's my friend too. Yeah, that's the homie. Oh, really? I know her. Oh, that's okay. the homie. Damn, well, what if I wasn't the homie? Though? <laughs> what was you about to say? Yeah, like he was like, I was trying to get information what was you about out of you to without say? her noticing. I guess we we passed that. That's the homie. I just don't. I don't know. I just met her. Did you even meet her? Really? I just shook hands real quick. I guess that's me. I realize I have a different voice when I meet women. I'll be saying, like, what, "Hello." Could, you sound like the guy from Puerto Rico. What up? What up? Uh, yeah, nice to meet you. Hi. Hello. When I meet the girl. I'm like, hi. Nice how you to doing? meet you. Yeah, totally different. You kind of got that? It. It's so fake. I mean, that's weird if you were like, like, you have a great personality. Like, what up, homie? Yeah, that would be weird if you were like, what's up, bitch? <laughs> just, just dapped her up. <laughs> Bro, that's not a... What kind of dap is that? You ever, like, <laughs> we should do that when we see each other. Though. You ever like, used to do this? <laughs> no, one hand. You ever been to that's this? That's so stupid. That, you don't like that? You ever been to how I do it. You ever seen the Wayne's Brothers before? Not like person. like when Marlon meet people, he be like this. He be like, "What's up, man? What's up? How you doing, bro? We gotta do that." <laughs> what the fuck? You ever you seen ASAP Mob brothers? and they got like a fifty piece fucking? You think ASAP Mob invented that? No, but they, they are like the ones I think of. It. They got a like crazy. You see how he be stacking? They be like, 
Yeah. Yeah. What is all that? Or like you see Birdman and I go like this and then kiss his homie, like, you know. Yeah, we should start doing that too. Like out of town gang members, they do that. It's you, like stacking. You, you never kiss the homie like Birdman and Wayne? Pause, bro. You don't do that? <laughs> nah. Like <laughs> just lock it in. You ever do this? <laughs> what? You know? <laughs> What is that? You never did this? Bro, watch out. You, you, you can't kiss me, bro. Do, the, do this. I don't know. No. I'm not going to kiss it. No. This, you know what it is? You, no. You do this. I don't even want to look like a vagina. You put your fingers like that, and then you look in, and it's supposed to look like a vagina. I was doing this when I was like five. When you were five? Maybe eight. Did you even know what a vagina Hi, was? I'm Adam, and when I grew up, I want to be a porn star. Yeah, right? You, you did it. horny bastard. I filmed a scene here the other day, actually, for a Patreon. <sighs> it's not out yet. It was Where, over there. Me, Lena... And two women who I shall not name, but uh, you anyway, posted it on your Instagram. Yeah, Kendra, <laughs> Kendra Sunderland, and uh, Carmen Caliente. But who we, the fuck is Carmen Caliente? A babe. We did. The I like that name. Porn star, and then we did the blowjob scene right here. Was you here, Josh? Watching? No, he left. He left before the head. He said he didn't want to be around for the head. Nigga, because you know, uncomfortable. you know how your sister rocking, nigga. He better get the fuck out of here before That's right. any of that shit. Listen, gets I don't crowded. want this dude looking at me with getting head either. That's gonna fuck the whole vibe up if yeah. he's fucking walking in yeah. there in ne- cargo ne- shorts. Next Thanksgiving, be like this. <laughs> Why would it be awkward on next Thanksgiving and not like the next not like day, tomorrow? Like, like five minutes after. I, 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 I keep forgetting y'all see each other every day. Yeah, yeah. Right? I like this thing. Your family you see each other Thanksgiving. Right. Yeah, I know. You guys see each other all. The but it was fuck. weird. To you have... see him more than you see your sister for sure. Yeah, but there was like jizz, wow. There's Jizz on the ground on the carpet and stuff. Like they got it cleaned who, up. I who guess. cleaned it, Yuri? Uh, I don't know who cleaned it. Oh so. my god! But there was a little bit of jizz on the ground. Okay, we we need to ask Riley an important question. Please, Please don't make it anything okay. too explicit. I wasn't. No, no. Okay. <laughs> how do you how do you, how do you feel about Yuri being around when they film? He's these, not. Uh, he always leaves before. Uh, like, look, exactly. He leaves before. The Patreons are tasteful. They're fun. It's though. tasteful sometimes. She said no, it's not tasteful. I like the Patreons. They're cool. I think it's so I great. like them. It makes my life so much more fun. Just like we get to just have this crazy time. I, I just like see hearing the stories, bro. It's like, what yeah, the fuck? I, I, I keep telling y'all, I think y'all fucked up, man. Yeah. Because y'all let the craziest story be the yeah. first one. Yeah. We didn't know that Kazumi was going to be the goat. Bro, nobody knew that she was going to be that much of a goat. And we got a lot more crazy shit. But but dropping it, soon. Yeah. I mean, C Mac ate rice out of a girl's ass. I feel like I deserve some but you credit said, for that. You said it was rice and some type of and meat. cheese and meat. All, I all watched. I watched groups. that one. Yeah, you paid for it. No, I, the the clip that you put on YouTube. You cheap fuck. Why would yeah, I buy the, Patreon when I'm the one doing the shit too? Five dollars just to see it. Oh. Five dollars and I'm doing the but fucking don't, interviews. Don't you want to watch the ones that you're not on? You get to see Duno nope. being a little. I don't give a, a fuck. Creep. If I'm not in them, I don't want to see him. Wow, I felt that honestly. Having Duno there is great though because he's so green to the fucking porn <laughs> shit. <laughs> he's just like who, who taught, taught you green? <laughs> who taught you this word? You drink green, okay? <laughs> I do chlorophyll. <laughs> Ugh. Oh, that is you, good. Like, for you do you. drink green in that way, but you also drink green lean. No like preteen. Anyway. Oh my god. Um, I don't know what we're saying. Something about Ben Shapiro. Ben Shapiro and the Ben Drill Funk. That was honestly a good shirt idea. Damn would you that. do a Patreon? Yeah. I would prefer it to be like not a girl that I know already though. Cause like I already know them. We so need it's weird. dudes who are down to like get like lap dances and like have the girl like make out with them and shit. But mm. lap dances are like because Duno is Lap like, dance is different than making out with some random ass girl you don't know. I want to do more lap dances. You know what I'm really into is lap dances out- are trash. I bro. like the outfit changes. I like that too. Because then it gives them a reason to get naked for a little bit. They change the outfit. Like I think dudes like watching it. And I, I personally yeah, they're watching it. But nobody home, nobody yeah, wants yeah. to no nobody wants to see us get lap dances from these women. They want to see I want to see naked. you get a lap dance from a naked woman. Why? I'll do it. I mean no. I just think it'd be tight. Like, I just think it'd be tight. It's like I, you do the same thing at a strip club. Cuck twenty two. I want to recreate the thing from Super Bad where the girls aren't period and she loses oh, a stain in your life. That'd be funny, actually. That is disgusting. No, it's not. That should be What's somebody's wrong with menstrual fluids. That should be someone's Halloween costumes. Dress up like the guy and then have like blood stain on your. I think I actually remember a lot of people dressing up as that Fred? after Fuck. that movie was so popular. Fuck. That was like a whole thing. Like ah, he's got blood on the leg, like in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, don't pull some weird David Dobrik prank where he's like, "All right, house phone, we got you coming in for the Patreon this episode," and then you give me a period stain on my jeans. Oh, what if we? I'm not gonna say that's a little too spicy. <laughs> well, something is too spicy for you to say. I was gonna say? say, what if we had you on the podcast and you hooked up with the girl, and then we revealed to you that oh my fucking, <laughs> that she has Asperger's. 
maybe that she no, used no, to be on nope, the men's wrestling nope, team. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were finna go there, and I'm hey, like, stop it. We would get in a lot of stop trouble for that, this. don't you think? Double homicide. Double homicide. <laughs> I don't think the girl would, would probably want to be involved with that anyway. Adam, just stop. Why? <laughs> just stop. I probably should have just not said it. Yeah, I, yes. I thought you, I thought you were going to just leave it. Once I realized where you were going, I was like, nope, stop this. Stop. Leave, leave it alone. He just, he's begging to get canceled. He loves it. Yeah. He's like, I beat it once. Cancel culture. Nah, I beat it once. Nah. I can beat it again. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like the cold, bro. It's, not, co- cold. it's not like COVID. Were, A lot you, of- were you one of those little boys who was texting James Charles? Who is James Charles? A makeup artist. I'm a grown ass man, first of all, and I was not texting James Charles. So you are a grown man pretending to be a child <laughs> texting James Charles. <laughs> what a guy. I would love for AD to be a streamer and just sit there. I'm gonna like start watch, streaming Twitch. Watch James Charles. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna hit you with this roach. Josh already just faced a blunt. Smoke with him. You too. just faced the whole blunt? I'm gonna start Twitch. My That's setup crazy. look nice. Your setup. Yeah, we got dope setup. Me and Miles Parrish is about to do something dope. You about to have a whole like hat rack in the back? It's just, it's nah, this is Miles Parrish related career. to Robert Parrish. Is that Robin Williams from Jumanji? Hey, rest in peace. I'm the movie guy. It's like you're just like saying words. Like it's just like word salad. Like, word oh, you salad. said some words? I'm going to say some other words. <laughs> no, that's not Robert Parrish, is it? But why would you say Robin Williams? Robin Williams in Jumanji. What was his name? Uh, I don't think his was name was Mr. Parrish. I thought you were just saying his dad well, was I Parrish. Literally, I literally thought you were just saying some Robert nah, Parrish nigga. is just like one of the very few pro basketball players that I know by name because he played in the early but 90s. In, but in I, Jumanji, like, I don't even wait, know. Wait, wait, look, look this up. Mr. Parrish, I think his name was in Jumanji, the movie guy. We need say. another person that can look up facts while we do what, this. Am I right? <laughs> look, look, look. Alan Parrish. There we go. Anal Parrish. Anal cunt. I was right. <laughs> Anal cunt in the blunt. That's hard. <laughs> that was hard. I'm with a- I'm AD smoking. and we finna stunt. I thought you said I'm with AD and we finna fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell I, th- him. <laughs> I didn't even say something gay and you had to fucking do it for him. I thought that's what he was about to say, man. He be saying such jokes, man. AD's crib card is already in question because he's out here fucking hanging out with us. Nah. People looking at him like he might be a little weird because he hangs hey. out with you. Yeah. You know, I feel like I'm, I'm crippling going corporate. You know how you know how I know you've been losing weight in a healthy way because I could I could make out your neck tattoo a lot make more. Out bro, everybody tells me they're like, bro, you got a jawline now. I'm like, I can see fuck? I can see your neck tattoo clearer now. Once you get skinny, you start to feel ashamed of when you were fat. I'm not ashamed. You look back at those times and you're like, oh. What was I doing? Fun times, bro. Joe, bro, Joe, Joey, Joey Fats got buff in like a month, and then he'd be like posting the, his old pictures, and I'm like, damn, you, you, I feel like you just looked like that like two weeks ago. My Joey nigga, Fats was he ever actually fat, or did you just have that name? I think it's just a name though. Hmm. It's a gang name. The homie swole now though. Pause. You like that? Huh? I'm trying to get on the cutthroat uh, workout plan, or the AD workout plan. Whichever one. His is just steroids and pretzels. <laughs> I thought his legs were pretzels. Get those fucking pretzels out of my face, please. <laughs> Play it again. Get those fucking pretzels out of my face, please. <laughs> I don't remember saying that shit. That just shows how fried Yuri is that he thought that was a good soundbite. I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have some tomorrow. You let I'm Yuri say. control the where the. Can I send them tonight, Josh? That's why it and they be so uploaded to tomorrow. Yuri was in or is it gonna take it. too long? Yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do. I some. can't believe y'all let Yuri be in charge of anything. No, he put not that mama. I have an amazing idea, I think, for a new live show weekly on No Jumper. Mm-hmm. But Who I, does it I don't, involve? I don't want to tell you guys about it on camera. But tell I'm tell you guys about it Who does it, it involve? Humans. No, does it involve us? People. Perhaps, but not primarily. Well, say, we don't give a fuck. I got two chains so on. Selfish. <laughs> not part of the organization. Hey, I, I, I tweeted today about No Jumper today. What'd you say? Is that your first t- no jumper tweet? First time ever acknowledging on Twitter. That <laughs> no, I just no said jumper? I just said like literally. Um, one thing I learned about working for no jumper is the importance of content. You feel me? And mm. I told people if you got Wet an idea, some shit may work, some shit may not. Just don't be afraid to do it. And a lot of people like that it. shit. It's real. 
<laughs> the fucking headphones just fall off his head. You like yeah, Arthur. That's fried. You're like Arthur, bro. You I'm have looking no at the bros. I'm sorry. He I'm can't even wear headphones and smoke weed at the same time. No, I do look at content way differently now. Oh, you see like the value. importance of it and the value. the value. You can see the production value and shit. Yeah, like yeah. everything. Bro. That's why I'm about to do like Twitch. I'm about to do other shit too. Creative shit. You should just do YouTube videos just talking into the camera about shit. Bro, you get Kiki that advice too, and, and he likes it. Yeah, but I got like a lot of great ideas and shit like that. Like if you I'm could get your fucking out. 1090 Jake on and just sit there in front that of the camera and stare into the camera. Who's 1090 Jake? You gotta stop playing with that me. I don't know. Oh my god, I, bro! This is how why? many times can we have this conversation? Your brain is fried from the tequila. How many times? <laughs> it's that guy from End of Sentence who was always telling the crazy gang story. Remember, I told you I never watched this shit before. Every it's time, fried. no, no, every time he said this, I was like, bro, we be sending links back and forth. He's like, I never watched it. That's like saying you never heard of academics. It's like nah. saying you never heard of Adam Twenty Two. Academics is he's cool. He okay. follows me. Okay, that's good. Yeah. The you fact your, that I you got your little clout. The fact that I'd be at home watching like him but I really watch on Twitch. I, I yeah. watch all academic shit though. I swear to God, I'd be at the bro. My algorithm. It's has, called an industry plug or something on YouTube. I watch all that. My shit. My algorithm has been completely fucked since they dropped that uh, that interview because everything that comes all up. Whack 121 Whack Savage, 100, Clubhouse, Clubhouse. Yeah, oh yeah my, my shit's my shit, my shit's like that too. I can't get away from it. It's I like, ain't gonna lie. I logged on to Clubhouse yesterday. Just looking for a room that would accept you or what? No, bro, because like King Los had put some shit out. It was like some relationship shit. I wanted to hear his take on it. So I went up to the clubhouse and I was listening. You're hope- like really in the market for that relationship advice, huh? No, it's not relationship advice. He was just talking his perspective of shit that he's been through and stuff like that. So I was just listening. Because right. to me, that's kind of like why I listen to like Kevin Samuels and Fresh and Fit and shit. Because you're in the manosphere. I think I am. Not the mayonnaise sphere. Where's the, ma- the mayonnaise fair? I would totally go to a mayonnaise fair. <laughs> Do they give you free mayonnaise? You just go to all these different booths and they have just little pieces of pita bread and then they got mayonnaise and you just try you them just out. You try the different mayonnaise. Are Honestly, hike you down. They are probably you a, got like a cheese Or like a little, a little Caesar salad. Are you like a mayonnaise nigga or a Miracle Whip nigga? You put mayonnaise on your fucking Caesar salad? I don't even know if I ever had Miracle Whip. Miracle really? Whip? I'm, I'm a mayonnaise nigga, but Miracle Whip is good too, though. Bro, I stay with some fucking Hellman's. Hellman's? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what's with Hellman's? I'm going to have some Hellman's on me right now. No, I don't You you like Miracle Whip? I always thought Miracle Whip was like the only mayonnaise, and then I was like, I had some other mayonnaise, and I was like, oh, this is way different. Because I know a lot of people who who eat mayonnaise, I mean, who don't like mayonnaise, but they're like, I like Miracle Whip, though. But it's a black thing to not like mayonnaise, right? I guess. Mm, I've heard that. I've heard that. It's like, ha ha, nigga, you eat mayo. It's like, what? Okay. (laughs) Mayo is fire. Somebody told me the other day that they don't like mayonnaise, and I was just like, are you fucking serious? And they're like, it's a black thing. You know that, right? And I'm like, I like that shit. Listen, ain't nobody going to tell me what I'm supposed to like. I fucking love mayonnaise. In Canada, they you look give like you, you like shower. They give you it. mayonnaise packets with your fucking fries. I'll be putting the Damn mayonnaise on the weird. fire. And then I come home and just don't do that, even though it's better than ranch. Is better than ranch? Which ranch, though? Any ranch. At Wingstop Ranch, I would take a bath in it right now. Give me mayonnaise with my wings. Okay, now you kind of tweak it. That's kind of crazy. I don't know if I want to live that life. But I'm a, blue, I'm a blue cheese nigga, though. I like I'm blue cheese, too. You go, goes crepe and becomes blue, blue cheese. No, that, that, not, even, not even that. Not even because of I that. I like the blue M&M's. That too. No, but the blue. <laughs> the, the when they, when I they like dro- babe the blue, uh, blue ox. <laughs> nigga, when they dropped the blue Sour Patch Kid, changed my life. Those are hard. I remember when they first added that. I was like, whoa. Bro, blue Game cheese changing. dressing is crazy. The Cookie Monster. The Cookie Monster. He's eat. C is for cookie. That's good enough for me. <laughs> Real crit. He's the original, really. Come on. Was he, he before sp- Tookie Williams? He inspired everything. <laughs> he inspired everything. Chips Ahoy in the blue bag. <sighs> Why are we just naming things? I was just going to say, are we what just else? Naming we're like blue creating bag. a mood board right now. But we're like, do not. you have a mood board? I was thinking about making one, like a no jumper mood board, or like how you want. My mood board is just a bunch of anal cunt album covers. I believe it. Yeah. <laughs> he made that joke before us. Okay, you should go home and make a mood board of how you want uh, the new office to look and like things that you like and you would want. He wants to get office. another store. I do want to get a store again. Why don't you just have a store and have the office? That's yeah, what I, I think we're yeah. going to do. I feel yeah. like you should keep it separate. We're going to get an office, and we're going to get a store, and I'm we're going to be able to podcast and do stuff at the store. And I'll, I'll pop up every once in a while in the store. We'll be able to do stuff there, too. But, I mean, I, I, don't, I don't think we want all the fucking employees going to the store every day. It would be tight, but let's be realistic. It's we're a, we're a little high profile for that. I don't, that's what I'm saying. Bro, much, bro. I don't want to have to, like, you do something one day because somebody wants to be stupid. 
Yeah. yeah. Like, and that's, I don't want I that. feel like that's even more of a higher probability now because I feel like you're even bigger now. The platform uh, is bigger now. More porno. More porn. I want to see some more shows, though. I have some more uh, pr- prospects that I think we, I should bring over right. that are dope. Mm. Yeah. New shows. New shows. I got some good ideas too. I wish we could talk about it on camera. You need like a yeah. you need like a hor- like a horrible horrible decisions type beat like of like because I like the I like female. how I like how Tuesday this is like hip hop based Wednesday we just talk we about have not random, random shit. We have not talked music. about anything. Today. Well, these are my favorites when we just chopping it up. Chop chop. Yeah, like a chopped cheese. We have eighty one hundred people watching us talk about nothing right now because it's, it's going up. It's going. It's flowing. It's not being forced, bro. That's what I'm saying. That's fire. We don't force anything here. At eighty no one hundred people just listening to us. Stroke but that's our how cocks. that's how Wednesday is, bro. We just talk shit and talk about weird shit. I'm so mad that the time that I came was when my mouth was fucked up and y'all was just getting the jokes off on me and I couldn't even laugh. We got the soundboard now too. Through Fuck. the wire. <laughs> that was your through the wire episode. Why did I not record a fucking song like that? Fuck. Oh. 80, 80 break my jaw. Pause. Whoa. And I'm gonna go record a song. You should make a song called like breaking breaking her jaw. <laughs> make it like Do they still make jaw breakers? About, no, a song about getting head. Let's just refer to it as breaking her <laughs> jaw. That'd be funny as fuck. I put her on fig and I broke her jaw. Is it a <laughs> <song>? Oliver. <laughs> wait, wait. What's going on with Frosty? I was just gonna say that was like a like. Did we? Was, did, I don't think we talked. Well, you weren't here anyway. But why that, weren't you here? You were in a coma. No, I texted you and told you that I was gonna be late. You didn't come at all. No, you didn't come at all. No, I texted you that I was gonna be late. But by the time I would get here, by the time I was gonna get here, it was gonna be like seven twenty. So I was like, I feel like I should, should just not come because I'm not Adam. Yuri took the punches for you. Because I'm not Adam, and I won't disrespect the podcast by starting two hours late. I needed to get the alley interview done. No, it was really good. That, that, that was that was that was worth it. It was. A, did you did you watch it? It was really good. Nah, but I know it was worth it. She, it was worth she, it. She uh, she had to get that off her chest. I didn't see it, but I, I think it's incredible. No, nah, but I could tell when she was leaving how emotional she was. So I was like, they talking about some real shit in there. That's a fact. Yeah. yeah. And we got one. Lottie Biscotti on deck. We did. And apparently, and I seen the fucking up. vlog, and Josh is like, yeah, AD took three of these. I took two. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Really, it was Yuri, but whatever. We'll yes. we'll put it past Yuri. Well, you're a fucking weed head now. He don't ah, even smoke. I be smoking. That's all you can do now at this point, right? Honestly, bro, I just don't. I just notice I don't need nothing, bro. Check me out. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm gonna need an A for that. No, this bro, is for. Let me smell if it ain't personal that red. supply. If it ain't, you can't like, smell it because it's, no. Let me smell it. It's in plastic bags. I got some. I got my own pack coming. It's gonna out. take days for you to get it out. My pack is about to be fired. The Uzumaki pack dropping with Big Chief. She's about to be crazy. So you're not gonna give me an A? No. My birthday just passed. You didn't even tell me happy birthday. <sighs> Come on. That's some good. Let me give it to you because you're going to take a quarter. That's... No, I was going to take Can a quarter. Can I take one too? No. I don't fuck with y'all like that. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> we pay you in dollars for a reason. I get paid in uh, NFTs. If you wanted to get paid in weed, then. <laughs> you about to give it to me in my hand? Yeah. Well, what else am I going to give it to you in? Come on, dog. <sighs> All I'm you really want, all you want to get, right <laughs> all you want to give us is what's it called? And you're, you're, I'm giving you a little bit because you, you, <laughs> you probably smoke Swishers and little yeah, tiny Yeah, I be passing out the, the future strips like fucking candy. <laughs> this oh, is yeah. you can have those. You can have them. I got. I pay for weed. <laughs> taking Bro. it, taking it from them. Damn, hey, here, here, Debo just deboed me. You try to debo me for the eight. Put it inside your hat. <laughs> Imagine I had a pocket in my hat to put weed in there. Keep it separate Yo, from your head. That'd be kind of hard. That is hard. A cargo fitted. Send it to the to drip tank. Mm. Mm. Do you drip, think, drip tank mm. going up right now. We got like 5K subscribers. Keep running mm. it up. Are What's you, it going to be like when it's not cool to have fucking things all over your hat? It's, it's always going to be cool. You think this is going to be cool forever? Yeah. Bro, fitted hats have been, niggas been wearing fitted hats since the 90s. Yeah, but you know, like, there's like, Phases and fashion where like something will be yeah. cool. Yeah, but it, it's like the custom shoe thing where it's like it is getting oversaturated of like, okay, anyone can just I can't wait till we're looking back at these hats that you guys are wearing right now. This like is fire. fucking Jinko jeans. I don't think this it's is gonna, fire. This is never gonna be like they're gonna that. be like Jinkos. Bro, people line up every Saturday morning like Jordans now for hats, bro. But that's what I wonder is like is the game so fucked up that people are never going to be able to go back to wearing regular hats and it's just going to be constant nah, insignia? No, but see, the nah, thing, the thing is, mix it, it. is that these are custom. So if you got custom hats, bro, it's like... But yeah. they're starting to sell like the custom-esque hats 
at even just like lids like because when when i first tapped in do, with, with now, nick when i first tapped in with nick you know i would have a random la with butterflies and flowers or some random shit on it now you could just, yeah like now you could just walk into lids and they sell those exact type hats but see, like Laura Fubu, he 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 only makes a limited amount of them. So your hats are like mine's will say like six out of an eleven or something. So it's only eleven. Of yeah, them but the now. homie could put one of one on that one. And but I have a question. Yeah, does he just buy fucking New York hats and then you get do the all blank? You get you get no, the you blank get the blank and you put stuff and, on there and, and design you, it. It's gotta be expensive. I'm gonna say try at some point. Yeah. It's, it, it, it it's, depends. It's not. It's not actually not that bad because I got some hats coming out. How much like the hats that you guys are wearing right now? Like, these he'll, he'll probably sell these for like, like 160, 160 170. Oh, fuck. Laura right, Fubu yeah. sells his for 170. Because what is a regular hat at Liz? Like, like 40, 40, 40, okay. 50, maybe. But then if you start getting into like the throwback, throwback gray bottom Yankees that you're probably 300. No, 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 no. Hell no. I meant like if you go like to like a Lids or something like that oh, and, Lids, you, try, yeah, yeah, and yeah. you try to find like it's older, like old Are school Are there any ones? good stores on fucking Melrose or Fairfax that, that specialize in hats? those kinds of hats? Well, you know. Maybe I'll stop talking shit about them and just start selling them in the store. Your boy was going to. I got some dope hats coming up. You know out. I'm always down to just totally change my opinion on something if it suits me. Yeah, NFT, <laughs> NFT nigga. Well, look, he realized, he, realized, he realized how much they were selling for. He's like, wait, should we, I should mean, we start I, a When I was talking store? shit about it, I already knew that it was selling for a lot. Fubu, I just thought it was stupid. Laura Fubu, his Where'd fucking hats. Where would you get a pack of woods? Out of my pocket. Oh, let me see that. Laura Fubu sells I'm like as soon as he puts the shit up there, I'm five minutes they're sold home, out, bro. bro. He just sent me three two out of five. I just pissed that you're trying to steal his weed. Fuck her. That's cool that you're deboing him. I ain't deboing. That's my friend. Punking him. It's my friend. Walmart crib. I think he's the Walmart. Yeah, crib. maybe they're talking about me. You know when you go to Walmart and it's kind of like you're looking at like the t-shirts. Some of it's like nah, I ain't no not hands, that nigga. bad, but it's like they all. Just I'm wearing look Walmart fun. jeans right now. For real? Fact. I'm wearing Fashion Nova $9. jeans. I want to make that Walmart clear. Crib. These are Fashion Nova jeans. And $9. I've been wearing them for like weeks straight. Bro, listen, niggas don't understand. This is how you this is how you mix the drip. Like you can have a thousand dollar pair of off white Jordans or whatever, mix them with the Walmart jeans. No one's gonna say nothing. Nobody's gonna say shit. I'm still drippy. Real question though. Pause. What are your go to favorite type of underwear and t shirt? Oh, this nigga, I'm gonna answer for him. He only wears Versace boxers. Pause. No, he doesn't. He don't have Versace on right now. He actually does. I always wear Supreme Hanes. I wear Calvin Klein's. Can I tell you the history of my boxers? How many? How many do you have? First of all, because I know you don't shower that I think much. I probably. Like, <laughs> I shower every day when I come here. It's just nah, on the weekend. you changed on it up. On the weekend, sometimes you I, changed I, I take it a break up, Adam. from showering. You changed it up, Adam. I don't want to get all wet. Take a break from showering. You and you, but Yuri was worse than you, bro. He, what did Yuri say? Yuri was on my show talking about what he do. He he doesn't brush his teeth two times out the week or something like. Yeah, he's tripping. He said some crazy shit. Uh, two days out of the week, he, he said he forgets to brush his teeth. Oh, that's fucked up. <laughs> Bro, you are supposed to. You got to take care of your teeth. Floss. And he said he doesn't. He showers like three times a week or Did something. Did you fuck like with that. a girl if she didn't brush her teeth? Fuck, Bro, no. What? That's disgusting. You're not down to make out if with you a don't, sticky mouth. If you don't brush your teeth, I'm gonna assume you don't wash your pussy. But you have fake teeth. Yeah, but you still got to brush, brush them. Do you? They, With what? Bro, <laughs> it's worse having fake teeth, bro. Why? Bro, you wake up in the morning and your teeth feel crazy as hell, bro. Like, it feels disgusting, bro. Why? Bro, I don't know, bro. It just it just makes your mouth feel way worse than what it is. Like, you're, you want to brush your teeth three, four times a day, so bro. So you wake up and just chug water? I brush my teeth like three, four times a day, bro. Mm. Why? Why is it? Because it, it's just like... Whatever it builds up faster. Whatever it is on there, bro, it just makes your mouth feel like very. It's nasty. crazy that when I talk about my teeth, I'm talking about something that like God gave me. <laughs> and when you talk about your teeth, you're talking about just the shit that you had like surgically implanted. It's like a girl with a real ass versus a BBL. True, but it's not even a BBL. It's like an implant. It's, the, but like you sound like true. One of, you sound like one of those girls. You sound like a body hating. shamer. Yeah, you be you sound like one of the bitches that be hating on the BBL bitches. I don't do that. No, I'm saying like the bitches, some natural body bitches be hating so hard. Those girls are retarded because they're all gonna want to get a fucking BBL one day anyway. If you have a baby, get a BBL. Listen, it's not like BBLs are gonna get less popular. They're clearly like here to stay. What if it's like another shift in the? paradigm well actually one of the girls that we're interviewing yesterday for the patreon said that there is like a a, a slowly approaching like natural body trend that is kind of gaining like traction and stuff because so many the, people the game is kind of so overrun with fake asses and shit at this point mm. which i kind of believe 
Well, look, you got to think about it from like, I mean, I, I know you're 20 years older than both of us, but you're when, <laughs> when, uh, when, <laughs> I, when we were when we were younger, when we were younger, bro, what was like the popping like skinny skinny blonde white bitch with huge fake boobs, but like yeah, skinny ass body. So it's like if you didn't that look, was for, that was for you. That's when I was like a little kid. He was looking at Pinky. Yeah, I did look at Pinky. Nigga, I'm talking about before. You really thought that she was bad though? That was like your dream. Are you girl? joking? Not later, Pinky. Early Pinky. Yeah. Are, are you joking? She got too big for you. I'm still with it. I was on her Instagram the other day, like I was still smack. That's hot. <laughs> Perfect timing. <laughs> I Perfect used to jerk off to Foxy Brown music videos and shit. What? Foxy Brown was bad. When I was like 14. If you never jacked off to BT Uncut, you're not. You Lil' know, Kim, the, Lil' Kim too, bro. I might have jerked off to Tip Drill back in the day. I think everybody did that to Tip Drill. I yeah. called my homie jerking off to Tip you Drill. Were my Nelly. <laughs> you were looking the homie jerking off. I swear, I swear to God, bro. Like you walked the in. Homie, and he... The homie thought I was asleep, bro. I ain't going to say his name either. The homie thought I was asleep in my room. That nigga was at the fucking, t he was at the, the computer just whacking away, bro. I was like, to, bro! To, to Tip Drill? To Tip Drill, bro. You yelled at him? Bro, I was like, bro! Y'all were in the same Why? room? Why, Why did you whack it into my house? Go home and yeah. watch it. Why? I don't think he had internet, though. I was just hit the bathroom. <laughs> you, you came over, you ever go over to your friend's house just to beat off? No. <laughs> That's disgusting. <laughs> what? Like, Brian got a firehouse. I pull up and whack off all he the time. He was like, bro, this is a nice den. I can just do some things here. <laughs> 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 bro, you can't. Because then, like, what if you come, what, what if you come on, like, the homie's couch or something? You just you leave it? You definitely got to do that. <laughs> yeah, <I'll> show <laughs> him what's up. It's like dogs. What like, if somebody comes to your house and does that? And you're like, this isn't my jizz. Who's this jizz is this? Oh, I'm so pissed. <laughs> I'm blaming on Leno. What, sure. <laughs> what, what if Yuri did that when he came over to fix your computer? Just in the pool. Caught a jizz real quick. I mean, if he beats off in my back house, I don't really give a fuck as long as he disposes of the cum. That's like, all I care about. I like to think you keep people in the back house. There's just a guy back yeah, there. Yeah, black people. <laughs> no. <laughs> so you, you go to you go to the back house. Help me, please. <laughs> you hear a knock on the floor like this is it's some black guy, his trainer, and his maid. <laughs> Under, they just saw underneath in the fucking basement. <laughs> Please help me. There. Please help. Adam won't let us go. Master won't let me go. Please. Oh my God! Like, <laughs> have you ever seen Inglorious Bastards? Yeah. It's like when they're underneath the shit in the beginning. Do you think that's what my husband's like? <laughs> like I'm a Nazi leader? Okay. <laughs> no, he wasn't. He wasn't a Nazi leader. The he only was... one to get away is oh, a cleaner. Okay, right. Yeah. Like, <laughs> well, I mean, he's like the hero. In the, he was the hero. He's yeah. trying to hide the, the Jews from the yeah the army. Got to hide the Jews from you. Speaking of that, nigga, that's kind bro. of a Hitler jacket esque jacket you're wearing. I don't think Hitler ever wore anything like this. To I be can argue with hell. Rocket power. <laughs> <laughs> rocket power. Do you even know team about Team Rocket? Them? Oh yeah, Team Rocket. Same difference. Rocket power. Do that you, was a show. Do you even know about Team Rocket? Since Rocket Power is a dope since show. That's like past your. I found out about it through the game. Team Rocket was like the the main antagonist of Pokemon. The yeah, show. so and like in the game, they are also that now. That's what no, I'm saying. No, they got like Aqua and other shit too, don't they? No, they take over the Pokestops and then you have to beat them down. Do really? they still have a nigga that what's his name Giovanni? And he <laughs> yes. got a, he got a meowth. I've I've beaten him many times. Suppose is a nigga named Giovanni. The name Giovanni. He got, he got the cat. He got the what's the, what's the, uh, the meowth. Uh, Persia, yeah, yeah. yeah. Persian is the See, I used to watch that meowth. shit, bro. Yeah, you are not, bro. You gotta watch. Put it, it. in my mouth, bro. That Put it, it in my mouth. <laughs> nobody that that's watches, a good one. That's a good one. Nobody that watches this show that's knows, a good one. That's a good one. knows that song. <laughs> in my motherfucking meow. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, whoever made that song was fucking very yeah. perverted. Yeah, who, like, who? Put it in my motherfucking mouth. I gotta remember to look at the chat. Like, I gotta rewatch this part. I genuinely want to know what the chat had to say about that. <laughs> that was kind of funny. I can't hold oh, you. Oh, my God. Fuck. Do we just, we don't have the noise on for the donation, so people donate and it shows up on screen, but we don't ever see it or know? And no. I'll, when we watch it back, it'll pop up. I don't watch it back. You watch this shit back? I used to. I don't do it no more. Yeah. It's too time. Consuming. Only at the barbershop. It'd be on there. At That's the weird. Barbershop. Do you think he puts it on because he knows you're coming? I don't know. That's but, good clock. But no, 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 bro. Because like when you see like the history, like the last oh, couple yeah. of them, it'd be like no jumper interviews, bro. You know, whatever. We're lit. 
Whenever, whenever I'm at a girl's house and all the recommendations are like all no jumper and then the thing is all red at the bottom because she's watched every one, I'm like, ah. You know what be tripping me out? She's a real bitch. People be walking up to me asking me for like podcast advice. That's I'd crazy. Be like, I'd be like, you're like, I just show up. <laughs> <laughs> like, what kind of mic should I get? You're like, honestly, no, people, I have no idea I, what I'm I, talking I, I, into. I swear to God, shout out to my homegirl, Damo. Damo hit me up today like, hey, what type of podcast setup should I get? And I was like, I think you, you should get like a snow blue. And you get the little mixer board and stuff. Some shit that I don't even use here. What's yeah. a snow blue? Yeah, I'm like, huh? Some mic, I think. A mic? Sounds like a crib thing. Yeah. Oh, fuck, it says blue. Snow blue. You know, you ever heard of blue mics before? No, I don't fucking know. It's a shit. company. I don't know anything about mics. Yeah. I hate when people ask me for technical advice because it's like from the beginning of the podcast, I was always smart enough to hire someone yeah. to do all the technical <laughs> stuff yeah, for no, me. Yeah, for sure. Because it's just not my thing. I'm and not... you, he used to record the shit off his phone, bro. For real? Yeah. yeah. Excellent. He would, he iPhone. Would, he would literally. <laughs> <laughs> See, yours makes no sense. <laughs> that makes sense. No, uh, and that was like detective phone ish kind of. I don't know about no, that. No, I was just. Oh, I've been here. <laughs> You've been here. I've been in this bitch since he was roaches on the table and uh, iPhone. So is this, a sec- is this a second setup? The third. No, downtown fourth. LA, then Melrose, then Santa Monica Boulevard, and now. So I'm a fourth generation no jumper. Exactly. Damn. Twice removed. Twice removed? How? I don't know. It just sounded. <laughs> <laughs> but the, in the beginning, there like, weren't that many people. Like, yeah. You know? It was like Nate and or Phil at the store. Bro, Hesh tried to FaceTime me the other night, like late at night. I'm like, bro, I'm not talking on the fucking phone this late at night. Who's Hesh? See? Stop playing. See? Really? You don't know nothing. Damn. You really are removed. From Gina me. asked me who Ian Connor was. That's, that's my, that's my crazy. little homie. Who? Ian Connor? Mm-hmm. Really? Well, that's cool, but I mean, I just. <laughs> oh, no, no. Ian Dior. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I said Ian Connor. I was like, what? I was in my Isn't head. Ian like, Connor, a grown man. <laughs> I, felt, I felt like if you were friends with Ian Connor, you would have like mentioned it 500 times. Oh, I swear so to I God. was like, there's no way. I would have seen you no, in the, Ian I, Dior. That's my little no, no, nigga. No, no. Ian Revenge is every day. Yeah, literally, if you were friends with Ian, Dior, uh, with Ian Connor, you would have your own blue Paisley revenge storms. Bro, by how now. about Soldier Oh, Boy? I got some revenge storms. How about Soldier Boy running around in a uh, in the hose mad no jumper? That's hard. That and skinny from the nine. Shout out to Wearing the hose mad no jumper. Apparently, no hard feelings because skinny from the nine rocking it too. I he been he been hitting me up, man. You gonna sign him? He seems he seems like a good guy. You see Soldier Boy sign Chet Hanks? He did. Yes, this is literally. Is that why my homeboy said he's been with Soldier Boy and Chet Hanks all the time? That's a DMG. That's huh. a DMG. Chet Hanks is signing. I like Chet Hanks, he's cool. What is this gonna be like? Honestly, his song slapped. That one, that the one that we I know reacted the, to. The, 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 yeah, the video review. <laughs> I couldn't nice. even. I couldn't even like. I couldn't even lie. It's crazy that we had Vashi do t- uh, this and that they didn't give it to me. <laughs> and uh, we didn't talk about nothing. We didn't talk about anything. And they, well, I like they, it. They we didn't have, even give it to me. We had more views anyway. It's better. Just we two talking. hours in. Yeah. But you, 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 but that one guy though, he's the best. Like all our reactions. Who? Mm, mm. I like you, bitch. Oh, that guy, the white that guy. guy. Uh, uh, mm-hmm. What was his name? Uh, Average yeah, D. I thought his name was Averaged, but it's Average D. Start. Mm-hmm. I like you, bitch. Start Yogi Crip Management and start signing some fucking artists. Yogi Management Crip? Yogi Crip Management. Mm, maybe. Because like Yogi Loke. Is that why you have the, the new uh, avatar? Or is that your NFT? That's an NFT worth over $3,500 that they gave me. That's what they told you it was worth. Mm-hmm. Well, how much is it in the real world? You could sell it for approximately one Ethereum right now, which is worth approximately yeah. $3,500. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So if you sell it, you can't use it as your avatar no more? Using it as the avatar is like, whatever. You could, anyone could do that. I could, I could use That's what I'm like. Can I just save the image that you yeah. allegedly own? But you could save an image of the Mona Lisa, too. Damn. True. The way you just did that, all right. Somebody, bro, somebody gave him the, like the, the, the blueprint yeah. of NFTs. That was guy. hard. He was like, you could have a picture of the Mona Lisa, too. You should cop a pudgy <laughs> penguin. What Mind was a bone. pudgy penguin? A popping NFT. Because you kind of have like a penguin vibe to me. <laughs> no. Danny He's not DeVito short. The You're more the penguin than I am. He's not short well, at all. The penguin. I look nothing like that. I'm like the Riddler. You're like the no, penguin. No, Fat AD was the Riddler, was, uh, was, was the penguin. But you got to be short and like wobble around. Have yeah. you ever had sex with a penguin? No. You ever seen Happy Feet? I've never seen any feet. Great, great, great movie. <laughs> I never seen. I didn't, I didn't even know it was a movie. <laughs> <laughs> this is when. This is when we need to cut it off. <laughs> Have you ever sucked a foot? No, Once Adam just starts saying, "Please, no, no." You're average-looking at best.
Who said? Who is that? Who said <laughs> that? Kevin Samuels. Oh right, right, right. <laughs> Hey, I seen him going in on this girl because she was just he like, goes yeah. in all girls. She was just like, yeah, I got a fat ass. And he was like, okay, like that's all you got to offer is that you got a fat ass. And then she was like, uh. I mean, all things considered, that's a pretty big deal. Yeah. I mean, but like she was she was talking crazy about like she said she worked at Burger King. No, no disrespect to anybody who works at Burger King or whatever, but they don't have a sweetie collab, so I don't want to go. Exactly. But, but they do have the unthug collab. No, what, Burger don't. King? Shut the fuck up. Maybe. Why are you? What do you mean? Maybe you can't be leaking. Did you just type? leak that shit out? Yeah. I said it last time as a joke, and I was just referring to it. To your joke, but you guys are both. But so you know they call it. <laughs> they don't. They call it BK. So I don't think he would want to do mm. that. CK. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Take your fucking weed back. <laughs> he threw the weed at he us. Didn't talk about the weed. <laughs> no, that that is. <laughs> wait, wait. Did y'all try the sweetie Give me meal? A weed back. So you can't rock a Calvin Klein shirt? I always take the K off. Like a what do you mean you said. take it off? off? The shirt? What do you do? You fucking nigga, I take the when I when I get Calvin Klein shit, bro, like I had a blue fucking puffy jacket, bro, and it was so hard when they had the K on it. I just went with the knife. Shut and the just had fuck a seat. up. I swear to God. You're out of your mind. Yeah, that's kind of that's pushing it. You're I can okay. show you. I believe you. That's a crazy We believe part. you. We just think it was fucking out of Like, I looked at you at first like, is this nigga telling the truth? And as you start telling the story, I'm like, I would you. just not wear the brand if it was that big a deal to me. He literally we don't want to see pictures of your outfits. <laughs> I, can't, I can't believe I gave you weed and you threw it at me. I'm going I'm to pick it up, though. No, you, you not. smoke floor weed? Remember that girl? This is actually the Pokemon. I'm find I door. think about her every day. <laughs> she she hit me up and told me happy birthday. She was rolling a blunt on the carpet, like on the floor, and it was like a dirty beer. Now ew, that's the type of bitches that house phone. You just jizzed on the carpet. No, I jizzed mm-hmm. over there. All right, and I really I jizzed on the window over there too. Just a little bit. Is there jizz on the floor? Still? How much jizz do you think I really produce? There's so know. many stains on his Every carpet. Every time I jizz, I produce a card. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many stains on his floor. I don't even know where. You don't know where the jizz begins yeah. or the floor ends? Yeah. It's you know where that comes from? No. Step Damn. Brothers. He, you know, you never see Step Brothers? Yeah, but I don't ever remember. Like, Every time I come, I, I produce, produce a court. court. That's crazy because that you don't know any movies and the fact that you I've remember I think that. everybody's seen Step Brothers, though. million times for some reason. I just assume I'm not going to call him dead. He's not even in a fire. <laughs> <laughs> I just assume Classic. you've never seen any movie ever. We used to just watch that. He one. watched half a drum line. We used to watch. <laughs> you never finished. You didn't even see what happens at the end. To I, Nick Cannon. I, I linked in with Nick Cannon again the other day, but I can't tell you guys on camera. But I'll definitely tell you off camera. Mm. Which is the what's the one where? Uh, Can where, we go work for Nick Cannon? I heard he got a nice office. Which is the <laughs> one, which is the one where Chris Brown? <laughs> 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 Why is that even so funny? That was funny. Just because I said he had a nice office? No, because the way you look is just like. <laughs> Which is the movie where Chris Brown got packed out in the beginning and killed him? Oh, that was uh, Stump the Stump Yard. The Yard. All right, you got to watch that. Stump, Stump the Yard. Yard. Uh, I feel like maybe I've seen enough. It's like black. No, you have it. You I feel like it. maybe half a drum line was enough. Yo. But do you think Nick Cannon would understand me not having no. seen any of his movies? No, he needs to, like, he should be offended. I gotta at least, like, look through. Did you listen to his music? Nigga, no. you got. Gigolo was fire. I'm a you Gigolo. Got, well, you he had R. Kelly on there, you uh, sick bastard. Sick motherfucker. Mm. Wait, nigga. That was funny that Tori said, too, to Cassidy. He I was like, you was in the hotel. <laughs> you was in the hotels yeah. with Cassidy. <laughs> he did crap. say that. He was like, you was in the hotels in R. Kelly. Hey, listen, listen. <laughs> I can't lie to you, though. The Cassidy diss was kind of uh, hard, but it was just honestly just out. De- like, it's like the old nigga Cassidy bars from like 2005. Like, it's just, it wasn't hitting the same. Yeah, I'm sorry. But Cassidy when he said is. when he said you was in hotels with R. Kelly, I no, was no, like, no. oh. Listen, listen. Tory Lanez understands the current climate. And like the diss song didn't have to be a, a diss song. He just threw a line or two in there about him, and it just made. I like, didn't listen to any of this for the record. Did you Bro's really fire. not? I have not heard any of this. I'm gonna be honest. The Tory Lane song was fire. The video was fire, and then he just threw like two random Cassidy bars in that didn't even didn't even matter. Okay. And it was hard. And well, then what and is then, the point of this of beefing with Cassidy at this point? Well, Cassidy called him out. Yeah, saying that he stole I, his I, bars I, I, for a freestyle or something like that. I, I, he was to me. He it was might paying, have been. I, pay, yeah, he was paying homage, and I think Cash was like, "Fuck this! I'm about to make this my opportunity." Yeah, but then mm. if you're Tory Lanez and you like, you already got everybody coming at you mm-hmm. instead of instead of being like, "Yo, I was just paying homage." Now it's like, "Nigga, fuck you! I'm about to dish you back." You hear that? Am I throwing back in jail? Damn. 
For real? For the restraining order thing. Oh, is that real, shit. though? I think it is because I think I saw it on TMZ and they don't really report on anything. Fake. And, like, that's just how restraining orders work, too. Like, you can't. But when you're two performers, can they, like. That's well, dude, he that's, wasn't even booked though. He that's a that's a gray line. He though. wasn't booked though. It's really weird how if he were to get, but was he there first? If he were to get locked up, I think Meg for a significant first. period of time before the trial, it would make him look a thousand times more guilty, which doesn't make any sense. But in the court of public trial? opinion, you being locked up is like the whole thing. I have no idea, but yeah, right. That's just been going on for so long. Like this nigga didn't already bounce back. <laughs> like I'm yeah. over it. Right, like fuck. I'm gonna shoot AD in the foot. Hey, oh yeah, you gonna get popped back? I don't scotch. know if y'all went to the same hair person, but that nigga, his lineup is going back clean now. Did you go know. to a hair person? I don't know. What Tell the about. truth. <laughs> <laughs> he never admitted it ever. He never, he never, he never admitted, admitted it. it. He, he never, never admitted, admitted it. it. It's okay though. Hey, just know it looks Tell amazing. the truth, man. I like it. Just tell us, bro. Come on. I'm all natural, baby. <laughs> <laughs> he did it. He did it for sure. You sound like you sound like a business like that. And, 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 and one of the no jumper fans pointed out, it was like, how did he go so bald to having the well, fucking for, Fonzie? I just had a shaved head for a while. I believe it. Oh, sharing the weed with us. Keep my weed off. The we get to hit the blunt. Wow, should we get off stream so we can enjoy the weed more? Or should we stay on stream no, so we, I, they bro, can see honestly, us smoke I'm, and they're, they're going to think we're cool? I'm vibing right now, honestly. Like vibing out, making fun of me? Yeah, I kind of miss you guys, honestly. Oh. We just show up every week. So who's your doctor? <laughs> what doctor? The hair doctor. I don't have a hair doctor. Where did you go? Did you go to Bosley. Istanbul? Bosley. Istanbul. Yeah. Did you go? No. Where'd you go? That's some <laughs> damn. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where did well, you go now? Oh, we need we need one on there instead of no, like no, no, no. how Rick Ross said, oh, pairs right. me hair. Hair. I figured it out. Cause me and Cam Girl used to have this joke about Adam going to get lipo. And we was like, hashtag Adam Secret Lipo. But it really was Adam's secret Bosley hair restoration. I did, TBH, think about making a YouTube video mm -hmm. about this very topic. Yeah. About you getting your hair done? Why about, didn't you do it? About things. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with it. Bro. When my shit goes, I'm getting the shit. I'm letting everybody know yeah, now. No, oh, because God. to be honest, I was like, I didn't want people to know. And now it's like, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, I'm like, why? The truth comes out. Finally. Did it, it hurt? Took, it took so many years for you to admit this. It's a, it's a, it's not the most fun experience, but. Like you felt it? No way you felt I'm it. I'm not elaborating on this because maybe <sighs> I will make a video. Yeah, maybe make a video. You should make a video. But don't, don't do like the fucking Brian Pumper thing where you say you're going to make a video about it. And you're going to take fucking five months to make it. And it's about yourself. Yeah, I like, like if you actually put this out, I would have <laughs> want to watch it make it, it in five minutes. Okay, well do it then, please. Right now. But what made you like embarrassed about it? And then yeah, be embarrassed about. Fuck? To me, it's like baller shit. Like, man, yeah, bro. I got a lot of money. I want to get my fucking hair done. Oh, I could tell you guys so much right now. I don't even think your shit was that bad. Like I've known you for a while. Your, your shit, shit was, was fucked. I don't think it was that fucked. Should I tell you? guys? <laughs> but it looks good now. That's yeah, all you point. Look good. Yeah, the point. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of thinking like if I tell you guys right now and we just cut it and put it on YouTube, then I don't have to make a whole YouTube video about it. I know you could just go into detail. You could now. tell us now and make it into I a could YouTube tell video. You the whole entire thing right now. Let's go. I want to know. This is. I dope. feel like you guys are like convincing me to like give head or some shit. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> Let me hit the We're party. coercing <laughs> you into telling the story. <laughs> Okay, I so. feel like I'm like the girl at the party, and you guys are like fucking getting me drunk and like trying to fucking feel them. Well, oh, it, I hope no. it's working. <laughs> <laughs> we rubbing you up. Let's go. Fuck. All right. You want to know? Yeah. Let's go. <coughs> I guess you should take that back then. Yeah. Should I drink water first? Yeah, yeah. nigga. Come on, bro. Let's go. No. Yeah, stay keep, live. We're live. Right? Yeah, keep it live. Why going. the fuck would we not be live? <laughs> Let's go. Let's. Now I'm acting like it's a big deal, which is kind of weird. I should have just not. Oh, AD's getting high now. This is I'm gonna close. Up. I'm gonna close the door. I need to really hear door you. always needs to be closed. Click on the other thing so that I can see how many viewers we have. Imagine Bro, it just really blows up like, like this is a real right thing. Now. How many we got? Like anyone cares? Eight. Move. Bro, you're really trying to avoid this. Right now. This is crazy. All right, all right, I'm gonna tell you. Let's go. Laura, cut here. Um, <laughs> so when I moved to Long Beach around 2010. I started to notice that it was uh, riding up a little bit, starting to get a little bit of the widow's peak type thing. Started to feel pretty uh, 
insecure about it. Mm. Didn't look that good. And one unique experience I had that can just show you how fucking quickly your hair can fucking vanish is that I was shaving my head for a while and my hairline was still like fine. Like nobody was like pointing it out to me that my hair looked kind of fucked up or whatever. But I shaved my head. Then I had this big nasty breakup with a girl. I grew my hair back like six months later and I realized like I saw big differences from being like super stressed out like i was really seeing it happen in real time that that shit was dipping up you know damn so anyway i fucking went to because i've actually had it done twice two different hair transplants what what was the what year was the first one i'm gonna say 2000 Oh, so this is before, so. I, before wow. you even started. Yeah, yeah, 2012, something like that. Mm. So basically, the first one I got is the cheaper kind because at the time I didn't really have money or whatever. Uh, you know, I had like enough money to spend like maybe three thousand on the first bad. one. Okay. But what they do is pretty fucking nasty and like shitty in comparison to the other one. It's actually, I would not recommend this one at the all. first one. The other one costs way more but it's way better so basically what they do is they take a fucking little like strip out of the back of your head like mm -hmm. they actually cut out a strip and they remove all the hair follicles from the strip and they implant it into the front or wherever you need it you know mm -hmm. and fucking that is pretty shitty like recovery wise because it's like you have a fucking open wound that has to like heal on the back of your head so you have to either like cover it up by wearing a hat or whatever like fucking it's just it's it's just pretty like nasty looking, and you just kind of have to like. And then like, do you have to do any maintenance on the front part too? You don't or have to you do need? anything in particular after you get it. Like it it, it like scars up and yeah. shit. Like it looks a little weird for a little bit because they have to like keep your hair like pretty short in order to do this. And so that was cool, but like it it it, it was like it was effective. Like it definitely like fixed the problem hair wise. But then at the same time, like the recovery from having that fucking strip cut out was brutal. So then fast forward to, I'm gonna say 2019. So like six or seven years later, I basically decided that I wanted to do it again because my fucking hairline had got even shittier. Mm -hmm. So I was just like, fuck it, I'm gonna just fucking. Is that when you first shaved your head though, in 2019? No. I feel like you was already <laughs> bald for like a year or two before. I shaved my head. Then, at some point, after shaving my head, I fucking decided that I was going to do this. Yeah. So I, like, grew it out, like, a little bit and then had it done. And then I'm whatever. trying to remember. So how did this process go? So, okay, the second one that they do, they actually go in and, like, one by one surgically you can fucking feel it? remove. No, they, like, numb everything, so you don't okay. really feel anything. But they one by one, and I think this one was more like 12,000, so it was, like, mm. four times as much. But they go in one by one, and they remove, like, certain fucking hair follicles, and then move them to the front. That sounds better, though. The, right? Yeah, recovery-wise, it was still, like, it was kind of weird because it, like, didn't hurt for a while, but they gave me all these perks and Zans to take what? while I was on, while I was, like... They gave you perks for that? You about to get your shit down. No, I'm just... for the drugs. <laughs> no, no, I'm saying, I'm saying that's fucked up. That's, fu that's like, how people get, like, addicted to uh I'm a grown medication. man. I can handle my perks, bro. Fuck okay. it. I'm not, I'm not gonna turn into some fucking lunatic. But I'm there. saying, like, did it hurt that bad? You needed perks for that? Yeah. I mean, it hurt. You know, but it was weird because I was taking the perks and zans at first just because they gave it to me. So I was like, "Fuck yeah. it, I'm gonna take this." Yeah, and uh, then, like later on, though, it really started to actually fucking hurt. Like mm. it felt like it was like the just like a headache hurt or like reaction where it just kind of like has this like weird feeling. But either mm. way, it wasn't really that bad. Only I only like I didn't come to work for like four or five days afterwards. Yeah. And then I just kind of got... Because I'm like, I'm trying it. to think like, where was this time frame where like... And it grows like naturally you guys like that probably now? I didn't even notice. I just wasn't yeah, around that's for like I'm four or five days. It grows like that naturally now? No, it's just whatever, yeah. Honestly, so like you cut good. it, it's going to grow back? Yeah. That's fire. That's, that's fire. Work 12K. Nigga, you, he, he gets a, a haircut like every week. I don't know if he hits the do on that part. Pause. <laughs> the do. I would do it, get it done again too. That's fine. Really? You don't need it again, do you? You don't need it again. But no. if it started to like look more fucked up, then I would fucking do it again. I mean, shit. Honestly, the twelve racks is is worth it. Honestly, it ain't that bad. Yeah. That's like the one thing I'm like, fuck. If my shit goes, I'm fucked up. Yeah. Right. Eventually, I'm gonna have to get that shit. I'm I'm ready. Yeah. yeah. Just spin the twelve. Same thing as getting a BBL. Yeah. Honestly, it is. We gotta strike back, bro. The so women got all these invasive. this shit, bro. The hair, we gotta get them back. Because the there's hair, no other surgery that's really normal for a guy to get besides fake teeth. Bitch ass fake teeth guy. Oh, or, so now you can finally be on his head every time. What else do guys get? There's not that much. You can get fake ass. They have lipo. 
Yeah. That shit sus as fuck. Yeah, you, could just, you could just go to the gym and eat right and like not do that. Oh yeah, if I'm gonna have safari abs, I, I can't have them implanted. I gotta get them naturally. <laughs> wait, till, you, wait till you see me interview Chinese Kitty. Oh, she's so fucking beautiful. Oh my god, that thing was juicy. You know what's funny? When Lil Uzi said, "I'm too litty," bitch like Chinese Kitty, I didn't know what the fuck he was talking about. And I was gonna mention that to her and then I forgot. Oh, did you not? It's uh, such a good song. Too. The Uzi Reddit would have loved that. No, literally. <laughs> you seen Uzi boxing? No. And they got hands. Really? You think he beat up Playboy Cardi when they allegedly fought? I don't know. Allegedly. After that video? Speaking of videos, speaking of Playboy Cardi. Who do you think will win in a fight, Uzi or Muggsy Bogues? Who Uzi. is Muggsy Bogues? But I think Uzi He's a little win. ass old NBA player. Only only short NBA player I know is the one that fought uh what you call it? Nate, Nate Robinson. Robinson. Nate Robinson fought Jake. Oh, that Jake Paul Tyrone Woodley fight is this this weekend, yep. right? We going? Are we gonna finally see Jake Paul get defeated? Are we gonna go? Aren't you cool with all them? Why, why don't we? Why Willie is my boy. Well, you, so never I, I to, go well, you never take us to the boxing matches, Adam. You one know, of my one I, of my I, homeboys I probably, is you really could. One of my homeboys is walking out. One of the homies. I ain't gonna tell you which one. So that means we're gonna go then. I just like just know. I don't really get into the like. Yeah, I'm a clout muncher. I know somebody famous. I'm gonna go hang out with them, pretend to be their best friend to yeah. get popularity points. I feel like then, I should do that more with you. I should like advertise that I know you. More. I don't he ain't do gonna any, go nowhere. I don't do anything. I know. We're going to ComplexCon. That's tight. When? When is that? September? November. Me and Adam. I want to come live. No. What? I was not vaccinated. I was. Um, <laughs> you're not vaccinated, bro. Are you vaccinated? I got my card. I'm vaccinated. He's lying. His card is fake. Yeah, no, it's I'm not. Like, Officer? No. <laughs> Go ahead. Press it yourself. <laughs> Who said I wasn't vaccinated? The streets. <laughs> the streets is talking about my vaccination. <laughs> Black 100 told me. <laughs> Have you heard of Monte isn't vaccinated? <laughs> By golly gee. Black oh, 100 fuck. tapped in and said, House one's a bitch. My daughter ain't never seen. <laughs> she ain't never seen a curb. She's never seen a street light. My daughter ain't never seen a stop sign. <laughs> <laughs> My daughter ain't don't even know homeless people exist. My daughter never seen a homeless person. My daughter never ate a cup of noodles. <laughs> My daughter ain't never drank. <laughs> <laughs> My, My daughter ain't never drank Crystal Geyser water, nigga. She always had a Fiji <laughs> in her hand. She ain't never left the house. My daughter don't even know what JC Penny is, nigga. <laughs> Bloomingdale's. My daughter never had a Happy Meal. <laughs> <laughs> she be eating filet mignon. She be. <laughs> My daughter been eating filet mignon since one years old, nigga. <laughs> Parker really do be eating hella organic shit. That's fire. I need to do that with my son. Today, I gave him, I tried to give him a piece of a cake pop. He put the whole cake pop in his mouth. <laughs> Boop, and ran away. Including the stick? No, not the stick. <laughs> the stick came off. Oh, <laughs> Bro, you be having the funniest stories about your son. Honestly, Bro, that son should is, be. Son is dope. Son is dope. Is your Did you son? see the video I put up my daughter? My my, my uh, schooling for her? No, what were you What'd you do? I was like, okay, uh, it's, on my, it's on my page right now. Go follow IITSAD if you want to see it. Yes, it's yes. sad. It's sad. Oh, yeah, we got 8,000 people in this motherfucker. Go follow at Lil House Phone, too. Go follow it. House Phone's trying to catch up. Hey, did we, did <laughs> we, I, had a, I had a spurt. Did we fix the email thing on the website? Oh, um, no. <laughs> is it Was it Yuri's job? No. Okay. Luckily. How the hell is that not fixed? And, and these week? fucking no jumper fans ruined it. They gotta make it game banging. Oh god, what, what? happened? Because I told I told my daughter, I said, okay, it's first day of school. And speaking of this, bro, the whole process of this shit was fucking crazy, bro. We go to the fucking school, bro. There's like four hundred parents outside with their kids because they gotta get COVID tested to even go inside of the That fucking seems like school, they bro. spreading it. That's number one, bro. Number two, bro, I tell my daughter, I wake her up, I'm like, okay. What, what what are you gonna do this year? What's the goals? And she's like, "Don't get any Fs." And I said, "Well, you don't know. We don't want no Fs. We don't want no Ds. We don't even want no Cs. We want As and Bs. You know what I'm saying?" Uh -huh. And I was like, "You know," I said, "Do good, make some good friends. And if somebody hits you, what do you do?" She said, "Hit them back." I said, "That's right. You fuck them up. You feel me?" That <laughs> I love that. Great. But 
All the fucking no jumper fans, you said no C's. Oh I'm like, bro, I'm talking to my fucking daughter, bro, uh, about grades. I don't want her to get fucking C's. Game banging is not that yeah. important He's, that my daughter got to come in with. Like, niggas act like my daughter get straight C's on a report card, and I just, <laughs> I'm so oh proud of you. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm so proud I'm of you. I'm so proud. Shut Slip 400, fuck. looking at his daughter's <laughs> straight B's. Oh, I'm so proud. <laughs> I mean, I would be proud of my same well, joke. Yeah. Same exact joke. Same yeah. exact joke. I would be proud of my kid at all B's. B's is cool. Oh, right. wait, wait. Speaking of fucking grades, there was this kid that was on my live one time, and I said if he showed me his grades and he had all A's. You'll give him some free fucking rollers, rollers, yeah. a rollers and you probably didn't give him No, but I don't know. I don't know his at. I was trying to find it. You're like yeah, Michael Scott. Give it to him. He's like Michael Scott with the computers. <laughs> what's it? What's it? What's it? What's it? Tots, for, tots for, What's it? <laughs> Scott's Tots. Scott's Tots. Yeah, Michael Scott. <laughs> I got you these lithium <laughs> batteries. <laughs> Open the laptop. <laughs> I'm fucking dead. That was one of the best episodes that ever. Was so good. They had a whole assembly for him. He's the worst. You gotta watch the office, bro. And he didn't bring nothing. And basically, when they were like in he didn't fucking bring shit. Basically, when they was in elementary, he was like, You got kindergarten. He was like, When you guys graduate high school, I'm gonna pay for all you guys' tuition. So they bring Why him. would he fucking <laughs> So they bring what? him back and all of them are grown up now about to about to go to college. <laughs> they all love him. They treat him like a hero because they all think that he's gonna pay for their college. And then he tells them How actually, many kids was it? I don't have bro, any. Bro, it's money. a lot of them, bro. He bought them lithium batteries for for their laptop. That's a really good example, though, of like on the show, <laughs> Michael is like a bad person to start, but then by the end of the show, he is the worst person <laughs> ever. He's doing like the most evil shit ever, yeah. misleading these kids from a fucking urban environment <laughs> who are wanting to go to college for years. It's like unthinkable levels of evil that they end up attributing to him. But it's like the you're so used to it, the character is so funny that. Yeah. You that is the best kind of ride of all time, bro. The batteries. And he tells he tells them like at one, for a second they think that he's about to give them all the laptops. And then he, <laughs> he goes, "I got you the lithium batteries in case you Yo. get left." I, I just started Parks and Rec. I'm, I'm 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 starting to get into it. It's not the office though so far. It's definitely not. It's different, but it's it's funny though too. What's it's that funny. one that me and my fucking girl watched four episodes of the one? What's it called? Kevin Lasso. What the fuck is? Oh, that? Ted Lasso. Ted heard, Lasso. I heard that's good. <laughs> What is that? It's, it's on funny. Apple. He's it's like a Apple fucking Plus. American like football coach who goes to England to teach a, to coach a soccer team. That sounds kind of tight. It's kind of funny. I, I heard it's good. Really into it. Honestly, I've been on YouTube so heavy, I just don't even watch it. Like, this is on I Apple on TV. Too. Yeah, Apple TV. She's fucking over here logging into Apple TV to watch yeah, this show. Right. I, have, hell is this? I have Apple TV. I have Hulu. I got Netflix. I got Disney Plus. I got Peacock. And I'm missing one. Pause. HBO oh, Max. Yeah. Yeah. You got yeah. all those? I got all those too. Yeah. Bro, I used to just be at this nigga crib just uh just having fans Uber me shit. Zans. Give me give me they give me they lock uh login codes for whatever. I used to do that too. That was my shit. When you think about the Zan era, it was kind of like the way that like the free love era like was sort of <laughs> there was like the free like love Woodstock. era. But then all of a sudden AIDS comes along oh, no. and everybody that's like the fentanyl pills. It's like Damn. the fentanyl pills came along, and now if you fucking take Xanax, you're just gonna die. So that kind of fucked Allegedly. the whole. Allegedly, everybody was having fun, taking yeah. all these pills, just floating through life. Oh, everyone having so much fun. And then, not, and then I used to ask the passwords like, "Hey, hey, if, if, if somebody sent me your Netflix," but then I thought about, it, I'm like, "That's He's, weird. Why I want to pay eight dollars a month right back to the streaming talk." Huh? You never took a Xan? No, never. Pussy. Why? You gotta get in there. Somebody asked me I'm too. It was like, "Ad, you gonna do the lean cast?" I was like, no. Are we still doing that? I think I might just keep it for myself. Wow. You're never going to drink it. I'll give you the Walkie K-Rod. Slosh. You ever seen that? I've been calling Parker Parkisha. Pro- All right. I'm done. <laughs> End the show. Like Walkisha. No. Stop. End the show. You don't like that? No. Pull it. Is that offensive? No. no. All right. I'll take it back. <laughs> that one you got to take back. That was Gang, crazy. Bang. I'm done. All right, man. No jumper. Thank you guys for coming through. Hey, wait, go go follow at High Roller 777 New Drop coming in at the end of the week. I'ma finally get these motherfuckers some shoes so they can shut the fuck up. New drop. New drop. New drop.